All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, please type one if you can hear me. If you guys can hear me, type one. Oh, great. Awesome. Awesome. It's the first time using well, it's not the first time using this, but um, there's always issues with lives. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Welcome, 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 everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing great. It is hot in here, but that's all right. Um, so yeah, um, just waiting on it till a few more people come in, but in the meantime, let's just chat it out. Let's just chat it out. Now, what I'd like to do is have a phone number. Actually, hmm, can I invite people? Anyway, let's worry about this later. Let's see some of your comments here. So who's in the chat? We have EUC Vibes. Okay, hello EUC. Well, he was there like since 919, so I hope he's still there. EUC Vibes, what's up? Uh, Lesfer, what's up? KS20 pre-ordered, awesome, wow. You guys have some deep pockets, man. It's these are some expensive wheels, but they're they're compelling. They look great. Con uh, Cam, Quan Cam, who's selling their Sherman for these new wheels? That's a good question. Um, I'm thinking about selling my Sherman. Why? Why are you selling your Sherman? Is it because it's heavy? What's your reason for selling the Sherman? I have a Sherman and RS19. I don't know what to replace. And for what? <laughs> That's a good dilemma to have. You don't know why you're replacing it, but you're getting a new one. Who cares, right? Uh, most likely RS19 for S20. You, did you mean or S20? I have a Sherman and a 16X. This is less far, but I'm using my 16X more often till I get my KS20. So why are you getting the KS20? Is it See, okay, let's, I'll start talking. Let me just read the comments real quick. Here, you're fine. You're good. Awesome. You've been taking a break. Yes, I haven't seen many videos. I know. It's been hard, man. It's been hard to create videos and have the family at the same time. The family is brand new. You know, the baby's only six months. What's today? What's the date? Today is the 11th on the 17th. He's 17, seven months. Can you believe this? Seven months on the 17th. And before you know it, it's a year. This is crazy how fast time flies, man. Oh my gosh. But during that time, I wasn't able to ride. I wasn't able to create videos. You know, I was really upset. Like like many times I'm like, babe, I, I gotta create some videos. I can't be home right now. But even if I, even when I tried, I still couldn't do it right. In fact, you guys saw a lot of the videos came out really bad. Like, I agree. Like one guy said, hey, a few videos you've, re you've released recently have been terrible. And I agree with him. They've been terrible. But I was just trying to keep the stride going. It's it's just, you gotta, if you wanna put good content out there, you have to commit, you know? And um, I, I wasn't committed. I wasn't committed at all. I was just I was just trying to put stuff out there. But I'm not trying to do that, so I just stopped. I was just like, dude, take a break, focus on the family. You can ride when you need to. In fact, where I work right now, I wanted to take my wheel to work. It's like 15 minutes away, and the roads are amazing. I didn't even know roads like that existed in Boston. The roads are nice. Like When I say nice, I mean you got to question whether or not you, need, you should go on that road because it's beautiful. Like The path is wow. Like... I couldn't believe how beautiful it is. And it's one of those roads, and I was gonna create a video on this, but I just didn't have the time to do it. And if I did it, it wouldn't come out good. Um, but the roads um, on my way to work, man, this is where you test the speed and the range um, of a wheel and the comfort, because there's just like no bumps, zero bumps, and it's just beautiful, nice turns, scenic routes and everything. Um, but I knew, I knew, that, sorry, um, I knew that taking my, um, my because the only wheel I have right now is the Gotway uh, Torque. 
um, the Gotway MSB torque. That's the only wheel I killed my other wheels, but um, uh, you know, all my fault. But and I, I knew that if I were to take that route, this beautiful route um, going to work, it would have been terrible for me. Um, I would have to ride at like 30 miles an hour, which is not pleasant. You know what I mean? Um, so I knew it wasn't going to be a good choice to use that wheel to go. Um, th there's like very few lights. I know like the last time I rode from Dorchester all the way to like East Boston, um, I forgot how many miles that was, but at least when you're going in that direction, there's a lot of lights, there's a lot of traffic. So you're constantly stopping, you're constantly um, slowing down, etc. cetera. There's not much, when you do hard acceleration, it's not that, it's not that many, it's not that much. So um, you can expect your battery to last a lot longer. But this route, pff, dude, it's just pure adrenaline. Go, go, go. You know what I'm saying? So um, let me see some of your, more, some of your comments here. What's up, Ustrad? I'm good. Um, Jose Juarez. Uh, all right. So um, interested in the Commander and the, and the Abrams. Yeah. You know, I really like the Commander and I like the Abrams. They look great. Um, I didn't want a Sherman initially because of its weight. Um, but the Abrams and the uh, Commander look pretty good. The, the Commander looks, uh, the Abram looks very similar to the Sherman, um, you know, uh, form-wise and uh, the, the handle that they have. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm very disappointed in the Hero. The Hero seems to have, what, was it an 1800 watt hour battery for the price range? That's pretty intense. What do you guys think about that? The price range is pretty crazy, right? I mean, wow. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, what I want to show here is, let me see if I could, boom. So what I want to show are these. So you guys have obviously seen these wheels already. Um, you have uh, my scaling here is not so great. Let me see if I could scale it a little better. Um, actually, you know what? Right, never mind. Let's just keep it like that. <clears throat> so the reason I put the Sherman in here is because um, the Sherman, I feel, is besides the KS, the KS, it's like they're going in their own direction. And it's a good direction, to be honest. Um, but the reason I put the Sherman in there is because I feel the Sherman led the way for the commander the hero, and obviously the Abrams, which I believe is from Libre Kim as well, right? Is it? Yeah, it has the same look. But um, yeah, it, it, set, it set the stage for these wheels. And uh, if you look, the, now the commander, is that, I think it's, is that from Bigote? I think that wheel is from Bigote, to be honest. Um, set up some okay so this is the commander yeah it's bigote so if you look on e-wheels it says it's bigote so um so the form factor looks very similar to bigote because B bigote initially was very square but um you know the veteran uh sherman was square from the beginning anyway which i felt that inspiration came from Gatway. Um, and it looks like they kept the same uh, square design with the Abrams. But the KS20, man, they're just they're just going in a completely different direction. <laughs> they're like, we don't care what you guys are doing. We're just gonna do what we want. And what's, what's interesting about the KS20 is there is no, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of uh, protection um, or anything like if you look, um, let's go to this screen right here. Um, this one. So I have this thing from e rides. Let's see if I could just, there you go. You can see that. All right. Now, if you look at it closely, you can see that this piece right here is made out of like some type of metal. Obviously, I'm um, not sure if it's aluminum or whatever, but I don't see any other form of protection. So maybe this is aluminum. What's cool is it comes with a seat that looks like a seat to me. 
Um, I, I haven't had time, guys, to look into this too much, um, but this is um, this is like off the cuff. So, but yeah, it does look like it comes with a seat. Um, in one of the videos, which I have queued up, uh, it looks like this side, this padding um, is adjustable. And you can kind of tell because there are grooves on the side. I think this right here is the battery compartment. Let me see if I can find it. It doesn't show you, but I think this black piece behind the padding um, is uh, is for the battery. And it's on both sides. So um, it's a 3,300 watt uh, power um, motor and it's a 2,200, you know, 2,220 watt hour battery. Clearly, they're listening to us. Um, now, I, I originally wanted, um, you know, the, um, you know, a suspension wheel. Um, obviously, I wanted it from Bagode, but their implementation of suspension wheel wasn't that great. But the KS20 was great, but after riding it, um, I didn't like the quality. In fact, a lot of people are asking me, hey, do you create um, rails for the KS? I'm like, no, not right now, but you could see it like, but even here, I don't see any type of protection. Now it's cool that they have a kickstand. I like the kickstand. I like the pedals. It looks like it says spike pedal. So the KS comes with spike pedals, which is nice. Tan amp uh, fast charger, which is pretty cool. 6 amp charger as standard. Okay, so the 6 amp charger is standard. So what does that mean? That means you have to purchase it or something separately? Or maybe during the time you're ordering it. It has a smart BMS. Oh, I looked up what smart... Anyway, should I go into this or should I just talk about well, um, the specs first? Let's go into the specs first. Now... The first thing that I, the first problem I see is not really a problem. It's more like a thinning of the herd because what I'm realizing is these wheels are insanely expensive. Let's start. I was going to put like a lot of specs down here and stuff, but I had no time. I literally had no time to do that. So I just did the best of my ability. But if you go to the commander, um, where did I save this specs? OK, it's right here. Let's click on this. Let's go to. Um, electric unicycle forms. Okay. So if you look, this is the commander. Now, unlike the KS20, and it's kind of funny, like they have this type of foot plate for the commander, which is pretty interesting. You would think that they would include spike pedals, but it looks like there are little grooves. Hey, what's going on? It's not what I want. This looks like there are little grooves, like little um, fittings or whatever, where you could screw in something. That's what it looks like to me. Um, I haven't been keeping uh, up to up with this stuff, so if you guys know anything, let me know. But it looks like this is just flat with no type of grip whatsoever. So maybe um, you know you can add your own spikes because of these grooves. But if that's how it's being released in the wild. That's not a great idea. That's that's pretty terrible. <clears throat> so let's look at some of the specifications here. Uh, this is from Stephen on electric unicycle forms.org. I hope I'm not breaking their rules because I, I didn't have time to look at their rules, whether or not I could share this stuff. But anyway, um, the dimensions is now I think it's centimeters. I think <laughs> they're measuring this by centimeters. Either way, this is 600 by 510 by 239. So it's pretty tall. Dimension, okay, wheel, okay, 508. What do I look, okay, so I wanna pay attention to the performance here. Obviously, all these companies are gonna tell you like the safe cruising speed is between 16 to 20 kilometers per hour, which is true, okay? Because you ride any faster than that, any type of injury is on you, just so you know from the start. Okay, 20 kilometers per hour. Um, range is 208 kilometers because we live in the United States. Oh, goodness gracious, man. 
All right, I need a unit conversion thing here. I was gonna do all this stuff. Unit conversion chart, uh, no, chart, what? I don't need a chart. Okay, calculator, there we go. All right, so we all I have to do is divide it by 1.6, but anyway, 230 kilometers, actually, you know what? Kilometer. So that's a, what? Damn. <laughs> it says that the range, okay, so we're looking at a 3,600 watt hour battery. Okay, 3,600 watt hours. And that's 142 mile range, according to this thing. Now we all know that this was not designed for Americans. This was designed for Asians or light people. So usually they tell you how they tested it um, or who tested this. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Uh, well, I can assume that the max climbing is going to be the same as um, the, the rider that they tested for max climbing is the same that they tested for the range. So it says a hundred kilogram rider, which is, um, uh, man, you know, not length, this is mass, kilogram. So kilogram to pounds, that's, okay. So this is a hundred kil, what? Wow. That's interesting. Is that true? It says a hundred kilo, hundred kilograms is two hundred and twenty pounds. Wow! So they tested the max climbing with a hundred kilogram rider at thirty degrees at twenty kilometers per hour. Hmm. Interesting. But I'd like to see what they tested. Then, if wow, you know, usually they, there's um a comment here letting you know who they tested, um, like the weight of the rider for the range, but I don't, I don't see it anyway. But if it's a 220 kilogram, um, pound, 220 pound rider, then I'm guessing it's at also 20 kilometers per hour. That allows that, you know, allows for 220, uh, kilometers because I can't imagine any, a 220 pound rider, getting 230 kilometers or 142 miles doing like 30 or 35 miles. That would be amazing. Um, I know that the KS20 has smart BMS. I'm not sure if this does. Um, let me go to, okay, let, let's look at some of the, some more of those specs. Okay, so max load is 130 kilograms. Motor is 3000 watts. Battery power is 3,600 watt hours, as we know, which is great. Um, what's the max weight of this device? Uh, net weight is 36.5 kilograms. Okay, 36.5. That's 80 pounds. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Com considering veteran, dude. You're coming from the veteran, that is not bad. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Um, and what's interesting about the commander is it's typical Gotway. You know, I can probably assume that the material, let's get some awesome pictures from E Wheels if we can. So, this is the commander. <clears throat> beautiful wheel. What, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you guys think that's a beautiful wheel or not? I'll wait. I'll wait for you guys to respond. Is this wheel beautiful? I think it is. What do you guys think? Yeah, what you've heard is that the S20 possibly not being 126. I mean, we know how it is, man. They say 126, and then when it comes to real world testing, it ends up being something completely off. But, you know, it's good to speculate. So let's just wait. Let's just wait and see. King Song, let me ask you guys this. Oh, I'll wait for you guys to answer. Man, to be honest. What do you mean? It's great. They took some cues. Come on, we got to give Gotway some credit because we know Gotway never listens to us. But if we're looking here, yes, they did not add any type of protection, which sucks, which is good for me and people like ClarkPad, because if I can find a, a better way to create my rail cheaply, 
Great. I still haven't found a way. I, I bought the tool. I bought a tool online. So hopefully I can use my muscles to bend stuff and do stuff. But um, un until then, you guys are going to have to visit the Clark guy and other guys from Europe to protect your wheels. <clears throat> but Gotway never listens, right? Never. Apparently, when money's involved, people usually listen. So what, what cues can we say? What cues can we say that Gotway took from um, Sherman? Clearly a handle. Look at this. So I was looking at this closely and I'm like, what is this hole at the top? I was like, what the frick is this? It looked like a mistake to me. But initially I thought it was an LCD um, that maybe it had some sonar or something like sensors coming out of it. But then when I look closer, I'm like, wait a minute, it's a hole. <laughs> it's just a hole. So, um, so, so the first thing I see, the first cue I see they took from Sherman is adding proper handles to carry your wheel. Because right now with um, most Gotway wheels, uh, I have a bunch here, but they're over there. There's, there's a handle in the middle, which is annoying. Uh, it's not annoying actually, it's, it's pretty good. But if you're trying to if you're trying to carry like something like you know that's 80 pounds, you don't want a handle in the middle. You know what I'm saying? This makes a lot of sense. So yes, they did not add any protection or anything like that, but they definitely added handles. So unless I'm wrong, guys, this looks like handles to me. So there's one here. There's a hole here. And if you scroll, to see, look, look at that. And what's cool? Oh wow! I just noticed that. That is sick. The power button is perpendicular to the ground. It's not parallel to the ground. It's perpendicular to the ground. Why is that good? Well, rain. When the rain comes, the rain, the water is still going to hit it, but it's not going to be as prevalent as it was when the button was on top. And there's a nice little LCD thing here. Um, really small, obviously. Uh, they got that from Sherman as well. How practical it is, how accessible it is, how useful it is how like, you know, in terms of the UI, how user friendly it is, I have no idea. Maybe it has one purpose, I have no idea. But look at this button, dude, it's like right there. So, you know, you're lifting it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I wonder if there's like, anyway, let, let's keep going. Let me lose, lose my train of thought. So there's a handle here. If I scroll down, that's the, that's so that's the top view. And you can see there's a handle here and a handle here. And these sucky, sucky, what kind of pedals are these, man? Like there's there's no padding, there's so I understand. So I used to wonder why are these guys having holes in their pedals? It makes sense to me that they're um, it's so that you know when you ride off road or if it's rainy or if it's whatever any debris catches under your shoes, it just goes right through the holes, which is genius. It's very smart. Um, but there's what is this made out of? Like like is it? I don't know. It just looks smooth. It looks very smooth, but this is a rendering, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, they added handles, which is freaking great for 80 pounds. Look at that. Ah, good. That's a good addition. Something great they learned from Sherman. Let me see some of your comments here. Baby boy, what's up? What's up? What's up? Anthony, easy vibes. You should make a commander U-rail. Dude, honestly, I'd like to make a U-rail. <laughs> you know, it's expensive, Like, but I bought the tool, so I'm about to like use my muscles and do stuff. You know what I'm saying? So <sighs> I need my motivation. Anyway, I got to do it. I got to do it because man, u -Rail would look fantastic with these wheels. It really would. Um, so yeah, so, so number one, they get this from, they took some cues from Sherman, which you have to give them credit for um, the handle here. And another thing they took from Sherman is the LCD screen. Another thing, yes, they tried to add the LCD screen to one of their previous wheels, like the RS-19 or something like that. Um, and now you have the handle on the top, which is awesome. It's funny because all this time we've been complaining, not me, I haven't been complaining to be honest. It's like, I'm an apologist for Gotway, but um, you know, it makes sense to have this type of handle. And you know, I actually liked the former handle from Gotway because um, of how it looked. It made the wheel look sporty, you know what I mean? But the problem is it's not practical. It's just not practical. So here's what I mean. When I'm riding, if I wanna hang something on the back of the wheel, I just pull up the handle a little bit, And but the handles weren't that strong anyway for that. But it did make it look kind of cool. It made it look like spoilers on the back of a car. 
the only problem was it just wasn't practical. They could have added a spoiler to pop in and pop out separate from having a handle right in the middle, which they added here. So that's awesome. Like having a handle in the middle, freaking awesome. This is probably the best. Okay, type a one. I'm learning this from other YouTubers. Type a one if you feel that this handle is the best implementation of a handle that Gotway has ever implemented in any of their wheels. And type a zero if you feel it's not. Let's see some of your comments. Um, Ryan Halater. Clark pads and pedals on the Sherman are awesome, right? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I haven't tried Clark. Actually, I've tried Clark pads once with uh, the Black Cobra when um, he was testing out the, um, what was he testing out? The EX. Yeah, the Gotway EX. And um, I didn't, I, I personally didn't like them because maybe it was designed specifically for him, um, but I would have to buy another one for myself because I didn't like how hard it was. Um, but it was, it's, it's very, um, it's very solid. I like that. Um, I believe he uses TPU material, whatever it was, it felt great. I just needed more time with it to get used to it, but yeah, absolutely. Um, something to grab on for breaking and a, yeah, I know that's a great, I mean, a handle dude, that's common sense for an 80 pound wheel. That's a good implementation. Clark pads are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, everybody has it. It's freaking awesome. Clark Pad, he's, he does some real testing, apparently. Yeah, they fit together. Nice. Need honeycomb. Yes, small. <clears throat> yeah, I fired. I fried an M Super on pressing the power button while wet. Ew. I've never had that experience. I'm sorry to hear that. Also, I wear riding shoes, and they're more slippery. Yeah, see, one person said zero. One person said zero. So yeah, this wheel looks great. This wheel looks good. Come on, guys. Let's okay. Let's let's try to do a side by side real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Come on. I'm doing that Windows thing where it tries to separate. Okay, so let's um let's do a quick side by side. Um, I already have it here. E wheels. Let's uh let's compete. Let's. I'm not gonna do all the wheels. I just wanna do one popular wheel from, from Gotway that we're all used to. And then we're just gonna compare to see what's up. Because I honestly think, you know, as much as it probably hurt them to do it, they ended up doing it and it, it, pays, it paid off. I think it looks fantastic. So let's compare the commander to this. <laughs> Come on guys. Um, in terms of in terms of man they both look great in terms of like um looks okay how do I, how do i get you guys to to uh to, tell, to do a quick poll here <clears throat> which one looks better that's how i'm going to ask it between the commander and the rs19 which one looks better just type in Commander if you think it's Commander and type in RS, RS if you think it's better. They both look great, but I really like the RS. I really like the Commander. Why do I like the Commander? Because I know in my mind that the reason it looks like that is to pack in more batteries. Because if you look right here on the top, that handle space is taking, that, that, just adding that handle in that manner is taking away from the possibility of adding more batteries. You know what I mean? Because structurally, that handle has to be able to hand, handle the weight of the entire device. Whereas this here, you have the entire top to do what you want. You could add whatever you want. And the handle, when, when it pops up, I mean, you just put it through the sides and then the battery goes right. Um, you know, it doesn't interfere with where you could place more batteries. So 3,600 watt hours versus 1,800 watt hours. So you could keep that in mind as well. Don't just look at it like, oh, this looks better. Just look at it in context. So the context is that in order for it to look like that, I'm sorry, in order to add more batteries, it has to look like that. And this is more about aesthetics more than like real performance in terms of range. So they both look good, but I give the edge to the commander because we've been crying for more battery anyway. And the commander looks great because it comes from that 
time of veteran Sherman. And I feel like we've been screaming at Gotway all this time, and they finally decided to listen to us. That's what I think. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? When I saw the commander on FV's channel, it looked sexy. <laughs> yeah. No, the commander looks good, man. It looks good. I thought it was a completely different um, company, but it's Gotway. It's freaking awesome. Yeah, Gotway. Yeah. Um, okay, maybe commander, but still glad I'm getting Sherman. Well, I mean, compared to the Sherman, Sherman just looks good, man. Like, it's all around great. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculously heavy. But in terms of looks, the Sherman is is hands down, uh, you know, the the honestly, this looks like it came from a Sherman, like from from Leaper Kim, um, the commander. And who cares? Copy. If it works, copy. Who cares? Um, I hope nobody blows up with those Gotway batteries. It's not Gotway batteries. Got, did, okay, answer me this, guys. Answer me this. Who makes Gotway batteries? Is it Gotway or another company? Who makes Gotway batteries? Who makes who makes the batteries that Gotway uses? Is it Gotway or is it another company? Who makes those batteries? I'm waiting for your response, guys, because we like to complain. Oh, Gotway, Gotway. Who makes those batteries? Now, I don't know why. It's happening with Gotway. <laughs> it hasn't happened recently, right? I haven't heard. I haven't been paying attention. I've been busy, but I haven't been paying attention recently. I haven't heard of anything yet. The buck stops with Gotway. Yeah, but who makes the batteries? Who makes the batteries? Doesn't not matter who makes the Gotway makes the products, so the onus is on them. But who makes the batteries? Okay, but why only Gotways are the? <laughs> exactly. That's a very good question. That's a very good question. That's a very good question, man. If they if they don't make the to your point, it doesn't matter who makes the batteries. If they don't make the batteries and they and it keeps blowing up with them. But then again, then again, didn't it happen with veteran? Didn't aren't there uh, um weren't there uh veteran Shermans blowing up as well? I <laughs> blame the Illuminati. That's hilarious. <laughs> Does the Illuminati exist in China? <laughs> All over the world, right? But yeah, um, I'm sc I'm scared. One good crash on the S20, it will shatter like a Lambo. Yeah, go up a steep hill, any wheel will blow up. That's not true. Um, is it EUC vibes? I don't remember who it was, but this guy in China, he was riding up the wheel, the hill. Um, I think it was the King Sung 16S that made it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a wheel. He tried the Sherman. He tried Gotway. They both blew up, but then there was this other wheel. I think it was the 16S. I don't remember what it was. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it made it up every single time and he kept going. So no, not any wheel blows up. Not any wheel. See, King Sung is very interesting, man. You know, let's, let's, uh, get away from that for now. So, um, let's, let's just... So much to talk about. <laughs> um, electric dreams, exactly. Electric dreams. Wow, that was that was a great test on his part. Sorry, he probably has money, but that was a great test. Um, so we're so with the commander, what we're looking at is an estimated release price of thirty nine ninety nine. I bought a used car, okay, for six thousand dollars. Now, granted. If you were to look at it into perspective, um, six thousand dollars, you know, came with some issues. Okay, so it was a, it was a BMW X5. I like those cars, but I don't like expensive cars. Expensive. I like expensive cars cheap, <laughs> and I don't mind on the back end getting extended warranty and then going to my favorite dealer and have them fix it. That way, I have an expensive car cheap. I don't mind that. So in, in retrospect. $4,000 is not a lot when you consider the range, when you consider what you're getting, 50 miles per hour max speed. But we know with Gotway, when they say 50, 50 miles per hour, it's usually like a little more, you know what I'm saying? Because no one, no company is going to give you, unless, 
it's King Song or In Motion. That's what I've noticed. With Gotway and Sherman, it seems like they have the same philosophy. Say the max speed and give you a huge buffer in case you decide to go crazy with it. Um, so 50 miles per hour probably means 60 miles per hour with someone under, um, I would say, under 220 pounds, maybe. If you're if you're like Chooch and you're like 125 pounds, sky's the limit, 70 miles an hour. But if you're someone like me that's 190 pounds and 210 with uh, my gear, maybe 55. That's my guess. I don't know. I've been wrong before. But the point I'm trying to make is $4,000 on the wheel, it's a lot of money, dude. And you know what's worse? You know what's worse about these expensive wheels is when you crash it. You crash it, and warranty doesn't cover that. No, what, I don't think warranty covers that because here's the thing: you buy this thing for four thousand dollars. Let's say, let's say you're one of those guys who's been, you know, looking at electric wheels for like ever and you're like wow this is gonna be my first wheel i got a commander four thousand dollars baby so you get four thousand dollars and what's worse here's what worse you don't pay it with cash you use this affirm thing that's right here let's say you 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 know you sign up for like a monthly payment and then you crash the wheel and now you're stuck with a wheel that you don't own and you still owe this affirm what the frick now Obviously, there are people in New York that can help you out. Um, you know, I don't know their names, but uh, you can go to these guys. David is one of them. And uh, these guys will help you out, which is nice. That's my that's my lady trying to interrupt my my live stream. <clears throat> but um, if she keeps interrupting, I'm going to I put a camera here so she can watch me from home. All right. Hold on for a second. I got to. <laughs> Babe, I'm having a live all right i had to disconnect the camera because she's gonna keep interrupting it's fine she can interrupt but maybe you can watch the live i'm on the live but um <laughs> so yeah um yeah so there are lots of guys in new york now that's new york what about california what about these other places you know what i'm saying where you don't have people that could but the point is you you're this guy who's been looking at these wheels forever and you're like, man, I really need this wheel. I don't care about, you know, the Emotion V8. That's for newbies. But you are a newbie. I want a commander. I want to command the streets. I love that name, too. Wow, commander. I actually like that name. How many of you guys like that name, commander? Oh, really? Through e-wheels. That's cool. Mono rides in NYC helps out through e wheels. They hold it down. No, oh, that's cool. Dude. Good for him, man. If I destroyed my wheel, I would probably go through him too. So yeah, what what do you guys think of the name Commander? I love it. cheesy. <laughs> Come on. If you look at the older wheels of Gotway, um, Gotway's older wheels, it's Gotway. Let, let's go through it. Gotway. Um, uh, wow, I'm drawing a blank. You have the Gotway um, Tesla, which is nice. Then you have the Gotway. Oh my gosh, why I'm losing all my brain cells right now? Hold on. Gotay.com. Oh, that's not even how you spell dot com. There you go. Oh my gosh, I messed it up again. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Go day. There we go. Okay, so this is Bigoda's website. Let's look at their naming convention, okay? Because you want to, you know, say it's cheesy. Let's look at their naming convention here. M10, MCM5, T3, Tesla 3, uh, Nikola. Okay, so check mark for Tesla. T uh, Tesla three, so Tesla. Um, check mark for that. X for MCM. What kind of name is that? MCM. What does that stand for? Does anybody know what MCM stands for? Uh, T Tesla three. Check mark for that. Nikola. Check mark for that. RS. What does that mean? Really slow. I've heard somebody make a joke about that. What does RS stand for? Really slow. Come on now. 
I don't know. That's an X for that name. EXN, extra large. I don't know. Or extra nothing for an N. X, that name. EX, X, that. Monster, okay, check mark for that. Monster Pro, check mark for that. So, and then if we were to go outside of electric union cycles, you have the K4 and the D103. What the freak? So, their naming conventions have been 50 50, or so, 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 you know, for the most part. It's been, it's been weird, besides, except for when they actually give a real name. So, Commander is a nice name, dude. In retrospect, Commander is great. You know what I'm saying? I like it. You command the streets, baby. You command the streets. Command power. All right. So let's get away from Gotway right now, or should we? So let me see. Hold on. Before I move on, what am I trying to do here? Where's my stuff? Okay. Hold on, guys. Um, I got this, and I got this. So let me get rid of this RS. All right, so what's the verdict? What's the verdict on the commander overall in the in the chat? What's the verdict? What is the verdict? We have 31 people watching. What's the verdict? Well, maybe it's not 31 watching, but 31 people on this live. What's the verdict for the commander? Yes, no. Yes, no. <laughs> sell, not sell, buy. Buy or hold, buy or hold, buy or hold, okay? What's the verdict? Consider everything. Not excited, okay. E. Simon, e. Simon says not excited. Steven says yes, expensive, very expensive. Okay, for, no, 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 okay, wait, let's start again, let's start again. I don't care whether it's expensive or not. Forget the price, get rid of the price because these companies, frick, man, they're going up and up and, and people are gonna keep buying. People are going to keep buying, apparently. So um, let's just go on whether or not it's a, a good build. Is it a good build? Does it look good? Does it is it practical? Um, is it something that you could see yourself uh, buying for the next and holding for the next like several years because, you know, the battery, the, the design, etc. OK, so we got uh, Robert Fernandez. Yes. Um, Okay, all electric hold. Lesver, no. Juice World EUC, yes. Chris Thomas need to see it in action. True. Yeah, because right now this is just a rendering. I haven't seen any real video. I tried to find a video of it, but um, do I have a video of the commander? Nope. Just uh, let me see. Hold on, trying to find if there's a video for this thing. Oh, but there is a video. Okay, let us let me watch what you guys are saying. No, I don't need that much battery capacity. Okay, QuamCon. QuamCon, where do you live? Do you live in a major city or do you live like, um, like in a rural area? Well, where do you live? Like, don't tell me where you live, but what type of setting do you live? City-like, country, you know? Uh, no reason that I can see to buy Commander if you have a Sherman. True, very true, because that's what it is. It's literally to compete with the Sherman. So Toronto, Canada. Oh, Canada. Wow. Okay. Um, and do you do you have a wheel right now, um, Quan Cam? What kind of wheel do you have right now? Oh, you live in the city, Quan Cam. Okay, so that makes sense. If you live in the city, you don't need this. You know, any wheel will practically do because the cities are, you know, they're close together, so... I have a Sherman already. Okay, cool. So I guess it's a tie. I don't see anyone overwhelmingly saying it's great. And I don't see anyone overwhelmingly saying it's bad. I don't see anyone overwhelmingly saying that they're about to buy this. So I can say this is this is a hold. This is a hold. I'll just go with hold. Most people will hold. <laughs> but let me see. Let me see if you will change your mind after seeing this short video. Okay. All right, let me, can you guys, hold on for a second. I wanna know if you guys can hear my audio, okay? Can you guys hear audio? Can you hear audio? Hold on, hold on, not my audio, but I'm about to play some, a video here, and I wanna see if you guys are able to hear stuff. Let me see. Can you guys hear this? Do you guys hear the music? 
Awesome. Great. All right, great. So I'm going to play this video for you. And after this video, I want you to tell me what you think, because this video is freaking great. It's not about the wheel riding. It's, 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 it's the wheel. <laughs> and it looks fantastic. Um, okay. All right. I'm sure some of you have seen it already, but renderings versus real life, totally different. Totally different. All right. Let's take a look. Wow, short video, short video. Let's play it one more time, one more time. Wow, wow. <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, I'm Fees, what's up? Not yet. <laughs> but go to RS19. No, we're not watching that right now. If you have a video about the other one, the commander, please let me know. But oh that's that's a fees. A fees. That video came from a fees. Guys, check out a fees channel. Okay, a fees K. A fees K E rides. So E rides. All right. E rides. This is his channel right here. Let me zoom in for a bit. All right. So this is a fees. Check out his channel. And subscribe. And obviously, a lot of you guys know about him already. But that's from his fees. This video is from a fees. All right. So let's watch this one more time. But this time, when we watch it, we're going to watch it to see some details. Because one guy did say he wants to see it in action. Looks better in the video. Thank you very much. That's what I was trying to say, man. That's what I was trying to say. The video looks better. The video, because rendering leaves out a lot of things. It's like when they have a supercar on like display. Um, like for example, the Toyota Super, that, that's the only one I can think of right now. When the Toyota Super first came out, they gave us a great a rendering and they gave us not only rendering, they gave us um, uh, a concept car. Now the concept looked fantastic. And obviously most people know that with concepts that you're going to take out certain things to make it legal. But this, holy smokes, the rendering, and in rendering you could play, you could put all kinds of stuff in rendering, but this video let's play one last time and then we're gonna go through the video slowly to see what we're getting okay all right here we go hold on it's a short video that's why i keep playing it over and over again my gosh Whew. All right, so let's go through it really slow. And first, let me look at your comments. I want to see what you guys are are saying here. <clears throat> All right, so nice. Okay, so uh, what time did I play this? 10, so let's start at 10, 19. I can hear it. Okay, good, good, good. All the way down, we're going to say audio. Okay, it looks better in person. That's right. That's what I expected. It would look, it looks so much better in person. Oh, my gosh. Um, Juice World says, nice wheel. Jeremiah, you love the wheel. Admit it. Yes, I do. I do love it. I do love it. I absolutely love the wheel. Um, it just looks great. You know, it's a good combination between everything you want, meaning lights, handle, speed, range, size, height, width, you know, and not being so flamboyant. So the wheel doesn't look crazy flamboyant. Like, for example, um, if you look at if you look at the um, the in motion uh, V12, the Inmotion V12 had the potential to be a great wheel, but here's what happened. Um, uh, uh, Nomad said it right. Nomad said that it tried to be a wheel for everyone. <laughs> it really tried. They tried to make it a wheel for everyone. They just put everything, just throw everything in there. And it ended up not being so great. I mean, who, I saw a guy riding. Did I see a guy riding it? Yeah, I, th I think I saw a guy. No, he was on a V11. But it, it's a beautiful wheel, but that huge circle in the middle, and then it's just, they did too much, you know what I mean? But for someone who loves in motion, 
it's great. It's a great looking wheel and it's the only performance wheel that Gotway offers. Um, and it looks great. It looks fantastic. It has all these crazy features. But in the end, when you look at it, you're like, what the freak is this? You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's go through these really slow. So I feel like Gotway did a, a very good, they, they walked the tightrope really, really well. It's a, they, they did it right. They added everything you needed, but not too, not too much bells and whistles. So let's go through it slowly. So we see that it has beautiful lights, kind of like my BMW. Okay, wow, look at projector lights. It looks like projector lights, wow. So let's me, let me slow this down to like, I don't know. Oh, that's, that's not, whatever, I'm going too fast. Let's slow this down to like 0.5 speed. And let's take away the music. And let's slow it down as slow as possible. Make the screen big. <clears throat> And let's see what we're getting here. So clearly we're getting lights, okay? Okay, that's, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna play this like normal and then stop it where I need to stop it. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, that was short clips, man. Like talk about the tease, goodness gracious. I can't even do a full review because it's like teasy. But anyway, we can see that the head, these, this um, heads up display not a heads up display, but this display um, is very bright. It looks extremely bright. Um, the handle looks solid from what I can tell. It's not a good view, but it looks pretty solid, kind of like the Sherman, which leads me to think that Sherman, you know, these guys are bigote, man. They're bigote. I mean, they're just probably an offshoot of bigote. That's what I'm thinking. They're just not telling us. Uh, for the most part, it looks like the rendering. The power button is right here. Okay, these pads, interesting. They're trying to um, you know, uh, listen to people and like, you know, go ahead of the game and add their own actual pads. Cause you know, most of us say, yo, we're telling Gotway, listen, the pads that you bring, I didn't mind it. Cause I, I, I didn't really care for pads, but for people that did now I do now, I really like pads. I, man, wow. Now I understood. Now I understand what people were saying when they're like, dude, why are you riding your wheel? So naked? I get it now. Um, but this is awesome. Like they they attempted to add something practical in in in, in the form of pads. So that's good. Um, so the dimensions all around look pretty good and pretty same. Wow, this front look is freaking awesome, man. It looks. You know what this looks like? Take a really good look at this and tell me if it doesn't look like like this person right here. Tell me. Take a really good look at. Um, uh, Tell me if this doesn't look like this guy. Hold on, let me see if I can get a really good image. Um, yeah, <laughs> it really does. Like I'm trying to get a side view of him, but <clears throat> yeah, maybe right here. But if you look right, the top part, like his head, the head looks like Cell, dude. Like, doesn't it? The hell, the head looks a little bit like Cell. Hold on. All right, so this is Cell. I just want you to look at the head, the head part, because it looks like kind of tall. <laughs> Doesn't it look like cell? How do I do that? Doesn't the top part look like cell a little bit? Oh, come on. So there might be some Dragon Ball Z inspiration here. The top part looks kind of like cell. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's hilarious. The top part looks a little bit like cell, dude. Hollow motor. That's a stretch. Okay, fine. It's a stretch. But look, look, it does. Look, the top part looks like his two eyes and then that big head. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I think. But anyway, um, you have the looks like projector lights and then you have um, or very powerful LEDs. And then you have these um, RS-19 type LEDs on the side. And then... You have those pedals, which, wow, I, I hope they're not releasing it with those type of pedals. But you know what? I Okay, so let's, it's going around, it's going around. Now, this right here, at first when I saw the rendering, I was like, wait, why does the front look like the back? It reminds me of King Song when they made the King Song. Um, I forgot which one it was, but, dude, there's so many names. Um, you know, the, the it looked like the KS-18. Yeah, the KS-18. The front looks like the back. It's like... Dude, that's like, like, whoa, like make the front the front and make the back the back. This 
And I looked at it, I'm like, what the frick is this? So to me, this looks like speakers. Doesn't it look like speakers to you? Because I don't see speakers anywhere else. And I can imagine these are speakers. And I think it's great. I mean, except to say, I'm still very disappointed that they would not add any type of bumper. You know what I mean? Any type of bumper, any type of protection, nothing. Just bare. Just like you crash it, you scratch it. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with the pedals? Okay, the pedals doesn't look like it's spiked. It's It seems flat to me. I don't know, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Because in the renderings, it shows it's flat. So maybe it's not flat. Um, where's the rendering? So in the rendering, if you look, it looks extremely flat. Let me go back here. Okay, so the look, it looks very flat. I'm not sure if it's spiked or not. It doesn't say it's spiked. So let's see, 85 pound weight includes fitted CNC pedals. Nothing about spike, nothing about grip or anything like that. So if you're like, for example, if you're riding in the snow, winter is coming. I don't know when this is being released. When is this being released? Or when, it, when is this going to be available? Uh, sep oh. Are you serious? First shipment from factory expected by the end of September. Arrival in the U.S. a month later. I got to work some overtime. This is great. I like this wheel. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't buy it. I, I don't know if to, I'm not saying to do this, but I personally wouldn't buy this for that price. Because remember, E-Wheels has to make their money. Um, let's go to Alien Rides. Let's see if Alien Rides, what price Alien Rides has this for. Hold on for a second. Alien rides. Let's see what price, if he has it at all. Um, electric unicycles. Um, commander. Okay, so he has it. That's good. It's a thousand dollar deposit. So Evils has a better deposit. Um, he does, he's not saying what the price is. But I can't imagine it would be any different than um, than e wheels. Um, yeah, I can't imagine it would be any different than e wheels. Oh, okay. So there it is. It says pre order. So this is what he says. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me zoom this in so you guys can see. Um, okay, this should be good enough. You guys should be able to see this. Um, he says <clears throat> the extreme. Bull, the Extreme Bull Commander. What? What kind of naming is this? The Extreme Bull Commander. Extreme Bull Commander. I thought it was Bigote. Anyway, whatever. Um, Pre-order now with a thousand dollars deposit to be included in our first batch order. Estimated retail price will be between thirty-eight hundred and forty-two hundred. Mm. So yeah, it's pretty much the same. Um, let's go to where else has this? Um, what's the big company in California? Um, EUC, UCO. Let's go to UCO. Let's see what they have. UCO. Let's see what they have. Um, they usually don't mess with prices. They, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Um, I haven't seen them beat any other EUC catalog i hate that why didn't you just call okay whatever catalog commander there it is okay so let's click on that <clears throat> okay same price same price 399 it's an expensive wheel guys but you know what it's worth it um i say it's worth it only because of the range and the speed it's like we i knew and, and here is what's cool about this it says 50 miles plus on e-wheels, it says 50 miles per hour max. E-wheels is just being safe. That's all it is. E-wheels, it's, it's funny. It's funny we're talking about e-wheels being safe by mentioning a wheel doing 50 miles per hour. That's hilarious, dude. Wow, we've come a long way. <laughs> 50 miles per hour max. So that's e-wheels just being safe. But if we go to Yuko, it says uh, 50 miles per hour plus. Okay, 50 miles per hour plus. And I believe that because usually with Gotway, it from the Tesla all the way up to like the RS19 to the Monster, whenever they give you a certain uh, speed, it's usually five to 10 miles per hour more. Usually five, usually five miles per hour more 
on very good battery, 50 plus more percentage. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, um, I don't see anything about smart BMS. So far, the only place I've seen smart BMS is on the KS20. Um, yeah. Anything else you guys want to talk about before we move on to another wheel? Uh, let's see. Internally, there was a design debate at Gotway. Motherboard on top or not? Then li then came Liberkim. <laughs> and now with the Commander, it seems like the motherboard is going to be on the top. Do you, does anybody know if the motherboard, it, motherboard is going to be on the top with the Commander? Because if so, this is going to be another well-balanced wheel. This is going to be a great well-balanced wheel, if that's the case. Um, because we know that you know <clears throat> you have one battery on, on the left, one battery on, battery on the right, and then you have the motherboard on the left or the right. That's going to throw it off a little bit. You know what I mean? Put that motherboard in the center. Holy smokes, you got a great wheel. Because I'll tell you one thing. When I rode that Sherman, pff, dude, I don't own the Sherman. Never did. But Ewills did send it to me to review. When I rode that Sherman, dude, it's it's like tears, like tears, like, and I, I literally had real tears, not from crying, just from riding that thing. It's so fast, it's so stable, it just makes you want to go more. And not at there was never a time, there was never a time where I felt this wheel is gonna cut out on me, this wheel is gonna kill me, this wheel is gonna, you know, I I didn't, I never felt that, not once, not once, not once, not once. And uh, when I, once I hit 45 miles per hour in that wheel and I realized how easy it was to hit 45 miles per hour, I had no need to go any faster because in my high speed, the high speed, um, uh, 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 um, got way, um, what was it? We have the MSP. Okay, so the MSP high speed, you see why these naming conventions are so weird? The high-speed MSP <clears throat> could also do 45. In fact, its top speed um, is 48 miles per hour. And at 49, you're going down. So 40, even 48 miles per hour is a little too much um, because you had to be at above 60% to be sure that you're not going to cut out. And you also have to make sure that you're not going up any crazy hills. And you also have to make sure that you're not in any crazy low temperature because all that stuff drains the battery. And therefore, you know, power consumption is ridiculously high. So... Um, the, the, the high speed MSP was highly capable of doing 45 miles per hour, which is great. I did it all. I did it all the time. It's not a big deal. I was very comfortable doing 45 miles per hour, uh, doing uh, on, on that, on that wheel. But the difference between that wheel and the Sherman is this, the Sherman had the torque. It just had that torque. You know what I mean? And the high speed MSP, although it was capable of doing 45 miles per hour, you, once you're leaning forward, you kind of have to be careful. So that's why I always had it lean back. I, I have my pedals calibrated backwards with the high-speed MSP because that would prevent me from leaning forward too much. You know, once it's calibrated backwards, remember the whole point of the EUC, we know how EUCs work. I don't want to go into it. But the point is once it's tilted back, it compensates for me leaning forward too much, giving me that max speed that I need with very minimal lean. With the Sherman, I didn't need to tilt it back too much. I had it at like two degrees, but I, you know, high speed was like three something, 3.5. But pushing it was never an issue. Pushing it hard was never an issue. And it, it just felt, you could feel the power of the motor, the strength of the motor. And that's what I loved about the Sherman. I hope that trends, and, and part of the reason, again, is because of how stable the, the wheel is. And part of the reason the wheel was stable is because of how, um, you know, again, how it's set up. You have one battery on the left, one battery on the right, and then you have the motherboard on the top. So the thing is just, and also not to mention that tire, that tire was, it had a flat base. So instead of a round base, it had a flat base. And that was very, very um, smart on their part because that added a whole new dimension to riding stability. Whereas this one, I'm realizing it has everything that Sherman has in terms of the setup, but they still went for a rounded tire. Wow. I'll have to wait in real life and see, but it's rounded. And that also can add, to, all you have to do to compensate for that is just reduce the pressure, reduce the tire pressure. Um, if, you, if you ever experience wobbles, reduce the pressure. A lot of you have heard this already, but I'm repeating it because a lot of the times, the reason wobbles exist 
is because the flow is interrupted. And um, <clears throat> by reducing that pressure, you're going to at least absorb some of that, whatever is causing um, the flow to be interrupted. Okay, so Bigote Hero is, I believe, it is confirmed motherboard on top with this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is great, guys. This is great. If I were to choose a wheel right now, it would be that one. It would be that one, the Commander. Absolutely. Because I really like the Sherman, but I didn't like the weight of the Sherman. I did not like the weight. It, it's either that or the, the Abrams. But the problem with the Abrams, as I'm, which I'm going to get into, is the battery. What the freak? The battery went backwards. <laughs> and I understand why. Um, Bigode, it is confirmed. Okay. Wow. You got skills. It took me like five months to get up to 40. Well, the reason, um, EUC vibes, I was able to do 45 miles an hour. It's on the video. So you guys, it's proven. Um, I'm not just saying that a lot of people don't believe it. Look, there are people who did way more. I've seen this guy. I don't know who he is, but he's on um, Instagram and he did like 50 something miles per hour, 50 plus, but, but he's a light guy. So he knows his wheel and he knows his capabilities. He did more than more than 50 plus miles an hour. And I'm like, holy smokes. But the thing is going straight at 50 miles per hour is totally different than taking a turn, then going up a hill, then going in wind, cold. There's a lot of factors you have to take into consideration here. Um, but but part of the reason I was able to do 45 is because I've been riding, you know, other mostly Gotway wheels. So I'm expecting performance. Especially when you when you first touch that Sherman, you're like, "Holy smokes, dude! This thing is it's a monster. <laughs> it's crazy." Um, Chris Thomas, I did that on S18 without Russian pads. Now with pads, no longer need to learn gyro. I know, I know, dude. The pads are it's the pads. Whoever came up with it, I think the Russians were the first ones to come up with the pads idea. Um, just freaking amazing! Great, great invention. Um, the original prototype was based on a kiss. King Song S18 shape, motherboard on top, and same dual headlights, seated riding. Yeah, seated riding is going to be beautiful with this. Um, yeah. And what's his name? Um, the Zoom guy, Zoom wheel guy in UK. Yeah, you could see he's going to be able to do it because if you look right here, he can easily slap on something right there. That And it's flat. The top, the top is very flat. So overall, this is a great wheel. So... Um, we all agree. Well, most of us agree that in real life, this thing is a beast. It looks great. So I don't think there's anything else I want to say about this wheel. So we're going to move on to the next wheel. So we already um, mentioned, we already talked about the commander. The, like I said, the only reason I put the Sherman in here is just because I feel all these wheels, the commander, the hero, the Abrams, not this one, um, is coming off of its success. And, and how most people just looked at Sherman as the ultimate answer of someone who Kuji started the pad idea. Very good point. Shout out to Kuji. Shout out to Kuji. Shout out to Kuji, man. So yeah, the Sherman pretty much led the way to these, these designs. So now we're going to go to the Abrams, okay? Let's talk about the Abrams. All right. Do we have any video for the Abrams? Um, let me see here. Um, I have, I have this right here. I mean, there was video. No, not a video. There's like a picture. There's pictures of the Abrams. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so let's, let's take a look at the Abrams. So first of all, what do you guys think about the Abrams? Um, what do you guys think about the Abrams? I personally think it's 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 a great wheel. I mean, Sherman, it, it's Leeperkim, Leeperkim, Leeperkim kept up with their no holds bar utility design off roading type. Well, actually, no, this one is off roading, whereas the Sherman was not. So I feel like you know they heard the cries of many people were like, um, you know. The Sherman, although it was a great street wheel, it looked uh, like it was an off-roading wheel. As many people mentioned, you look at it and you're like, dude, I can take this thing off-roading. Dude, really? That thing is heavy and it's going to break your leg. Um, not only that, the clearance was terrible on that thing. Um, and it was obvious, partly because of the um, the rail. But this, they answered that. They answered. They, they give you answer. Answer is right here. I mean, you can see clearly that here, 
you know, the rail doesn't interfere with clearance at all. You know what I mean? It looks like the rail stops at this point. That's weird. We'll have to see it in real life. But what do you guys think about the Abrams? What do you guys think about the Abrams? Um, for 99% of EUC riders, they won't go over 40 miles per hour. Very often, I feel like I, th I think manufacturers should now focus more on new technologies like suspension, quality parts, durability. Very good spokes. Very good point. But let's be honest, Mr. Spokes. If you look at the comparison between In Motion, King Song, and In Motion, King Song, and more high performance wheels, it's the high performance wheels that's leading the way, not those lesser wheels. I say lesser wheels in the in terms of performance. So in motion, when they first started, they were great in terms of quality and bringing in new riders because they were safe, they were small, they were budget friendly at the time. But now we've gone past that. That's, we've gone way past that. So now um, these guys, even though it, you know a small percentage of people will be doing 40 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour, they're the ones who get the exposure. They're the ones that bring the exposure. Do you, do you agree with this? Do you agree with this? The people who ride fast are the ones that bring the exposure. It's not necessarily the other guys who with lesser wheels, you know, and even if the guys who are, who have wheels that do 50 miles an hour and these guys end up not doing 50 miles per hour, they do like 30 miles per hour. The perception is there. It's the perception. So that people are thinking, whoa, this guy got an Abrams. Wow, 50 miles per hour. Commander, 50 miles per hour. Sherman, wow, I can't, I can't hang with these guys. And these are the guys that are promoted. These are the, the reckless ones. <laughs> so as much as people, you know, as much as what you're saying is true, they're the reason that these companies are able to jack up the price and sell more wheels because they're getting the exposure. They're making it possible for people to know more about these wheels. Okay, so the Abrams will be dope. <laughs> it's it's great. It, you know, it's <clears throat> you know, if you compare if okay, let me read some more of your comments. Okay, so and 22 is nice. Abrams will it's dope. 22 is nice. Read the rest of my reply. Haha, <laughs> spokes. Oh, where is the rest of your reply, spokes? That's why I said Sherman should be standard. Indeed. I agree. I agree. Sherman so far is the standard. It is, in my opinion. Um, it is, and it has that has been my opinion, in fact. When I reviewed the, the Sherman, I said the same thing. It is the standard. The only issue I had with that wheel is the weight. It's just insane. Um, and there were some other minor issues too. There was no USB port. <clears throat> there was no cutoff switch. Minor things, but overall, that wheel is just a beast. Um, uh, I like watching guys that rip. Exactly. Rip on trails and the city setting. Exactly. And this Abrams is going to handle that trails part, whereas the Sherman is the city part. The 50 mile per hour wheels are safer on those of us who ride 35. Correct. Because you're never going to reach that threshold since you know that's your limit. You know your limit is 35, 40. You know your wheel is, is capable of doing way more than that. So you're safe. You're a safe dude. You're never going to, you know, reach that limit or push it to that point where it's not able to, where it's, you, you're starting to question whether or not this wheel can handle what you're throwing at it. I want to see a big guy rip like Chooch. <laughs> oh man, Chooch is extremely light, okay? He's extremely light. So, um, you know, the, one, the way I look at it is, if he can ride a Sherman, I mean, that wheel is pretty much for anybody because he's really light and he's riding the Sherman off-roading. You know, that's freaking awesome. Isn't the commander just as heavy as the Sherman? Let's solve that problem now. Um, come on, man. I can't even type. E-wheels. Oh, my gosh. I'm so used to my work computer that I'm not so used to my computer. Okay, so to answer your question, where's the veteran Sherman? Okay, so this is the veteran Sherman. Um, who asked that question? Ryan Halat Halater. Ryan. Okay, 
So the weight on this is 77 pounds. What? I thought it was heavier. It says 77 pounds, the Sherman. Hmm. Okay. The Abrams is... Oh, uh, the commander. You're talking about the commander. Okay. I got rid of the commander. Oh, there it is. 85 pounds. So the commander is 85 pounds. So 3,600 watt um, hour battery on the commander with no rails, no protection is heavier than a Sherman. Hold on. Where did... There it is. Oh, this one is 3,200 watt hours. So it's 400 watt hours more. But either way, this thing has protection and everything. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's um, it's heavier. It's a lot heavier. It's heavier by like what? At least 10 pounds or what? 80 something. I don't remember. Anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, it's, wow, that's weird. That's, see, that's why Sherman is freaking awesome, man. But it's weird. I, it's, it's like, remember the, um, there was a wheel that nobody remembers. It's the Z10. I always bring it back to the Z10. The Z10 was a wheel that had nothing. It was vaporware in terms of performance because it was presented as an off-roading wheel, as a powerful wheel for that time, et cetera, from Ninebot, if anybody remembers. But when I first saw that wheel, it looked amazing. Like, But there was no performance whatsoever, none, zero. When you lift that wheel, it looks like a really small wheel, but when you lifted it, it's it was so freaking heavy. It was insanely heavy. I still have my Z10. That's awesome. Do you still ride your Z10? That's the question. Um, and you know, it was very dense. Why? Because of the material that that it was made out of. The material that it was made out of was very heavy. Was very dense. Was very strong. You drop that thing, you're like you're most likely not going to get a scratch. So they they used very very high quality material. Um, which and the mortar itself, all the everything was just heavy. You know what I mean? Uh, so they used very high quality material for whatever reason, um, and it was heavy for no reason whatsoever. Well, for that reason, but there was no point to it being so heavy. Like the Sherman, the Sherman is a very heavy wheel, but I can see why it's so heavy. The materials are great. It's a 50 mile per hour wheel. The battery is insane. It has rails, so in case you drop it, the thing doesn't just shatter. Um, you know, so. Um, that's probably why this thing is so heavy. I don't know, but it's just weird. So Sherman is it was able at some point compared to the commander, um, able to build such a crazy wheel and still be less in terms of weight and cheaper. It was twenty eight hundred dollars compared to this thing, which is thirty seven hundred dollars. But no, I'm talking about the commander. The commander is like four thousand dollars. So what the frick is wrong with Gotway, man? Got way in their prices, man. Marty Blake, electricunicycle.org. Okay, so the commander, I re, so let's see what he says here. I recently got off the phone with Jason. Here's what's known about the new veteran Abrams. 22-inch wheel, 2,700 watt-hour battery pack, which is plenty for a lot of us, okay? Um, even me too. I, I like, look at the price, man. It's so much better. But for a few dollars more, you can get, but... They always get you with this amazing rail, man. Like, why would you not go with that? And the light, the backlight, the backlight is a lot better than the than the commander. So even though I like the design of the commander, this ends up being way more practical. You know what I mean? It ends up being a lot more practical. You want lights in the back, dude. You want a big light in the background. You don't want people just coming up and hitting you. You want lights. Yes, you're going to put lights on your backpack. But you just want to make sure that there's there's constant light, no matter what. If you forgot your backpack, if your battery light on your backpack dies, it doesn't matter. There's going to be lights. And here it is. It's just so practical. Um, improved water resistance, modular. That's so vague. Modular. <laughs> the wheel is just modular. It's just a modular wheel. So I can just take a, a, a King song and put it... what. I would like some more specifics. $3,700, what do you guys think of that price? What do you guys think of that price, $3,700? That's not bad. I still have my Z10, but I can't compare it to the Sherman. Of course not, man. It's just a nice wheel to have because you know it was hot at the time. That is heavy, heavy, yeah. <laughs> Are you referring to the, you're, ref you're referring to the, Ab uh, 
the commander. Yeah, the commander is very heavy. Very heavy. Yep, very heavy. The commander looks okay. So we're talking about this now. We're talking about the um the Abrams now. So what do you guys think about the Abrams? It's a 22 inch wheel, 20 2700 watt hour battery pack, which is more than enough for a lot of people. Improved water resistance. It's modular, not specific on what that is or what that means. Um, the former one just meant the lights were modular. Um, $3,700. And it's, he says, oh, and it appears that um, Veteran will be discontinuing production of the Sherman due to parts. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Veteran is no longer making the Sherman. Huh? <laughs> So the Sherman was a pilot, in my opinion. The Sherman was a pilot. It was, maybe maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't. But why, I'm not sure why, what kind of parts they're referring to. Either way, they're not making it anymore. So if you have a Sherman, you're, you're, you're caught between a rock and a hard place. You save it over time to increase it in value because that's usually how these things work. Or you sell it real quick because competition will make the Sherman irrelevant because now you're going to have probably better, better battery technology, um, better setup technology in, how, in terms of how they set up the wheels um, to make it more light and more efficient and faster and, and more range, et cetera. So at some point, you're going to say to yourself, hmm, I have a wheel that's lighter. I have a wheel that's faster. I have a wheel with this and this and that. I don't need the Sherman anymore. Nobody needs the Sherman. So whether you sell the Sherman or not, I don't know, man. That's going to be a tough one for you. Because who's going to buy the Sherman when they have something like this? You know, when they have something like this. Because the main issue with the Sherman is how heavy it is. That's the main issue. Hey, Ustrad, I just sent you a DM on Instagram of the real world pics of the Abrams. Okay, let me, let me get, head over to there real quick. Hold on. Where is my... Um, I had it opened. Instagram. Hold on for a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Instagram. All right. So you sent me a DM, right? Oh, East. There you are. Oh yeah. I was. I have that. I have that. I was just gonna. Um. So this is from EUC Vibes. Check out his channel. Um. I just started following him on Instagram, but he just sent me this. So what do you guys think of this front look? Uh, oof, dude, whoa, look at the pedal. I love that pedal, yes. Oh, there's more. Okay, cool, hold on, let me make this bigger. Let me, okay, so guys, what do you think? I'm not gonna say anything yet. Just tell me what you think of this look. What do you think of this look? Wow. Oh my gosh, veteran. Okay, I don't want to skew your skew the results here. Skew your responses. Thomas, the Sherman is still the best wheel out. Congratulations. Look at the headlights. Look at the lights. Athuk Ath I don't know how to say that name. Athukora. What do you think of the lights? Guys, what do you think of this this wheel? I mean, it looks amazing. What do you guys think? It looks way better from this angle. It looks fantastic. I'm sorry. It looks like it's not playing around. It looks serious. Serious. Lights look cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start talking now since it looks good. Most Okay. So most of us agree that this thing looks amazing. Whereas the, whereas the, the commander, a lot of you agreed it looked great on the, on the, um, the simul uh, the 3D model, but in real life, you agreed it did look good, okay? But most of you were still on the whole part of it, okay? Like you, you weren't so quick to spend money on that thing, on the Commander. That's a monster tire though. And isn't that typical of Sherman? Isn't that typical of Sherman, Roger? Um, they usually have crazy wheels. And this wheel looks like a combination of off-road and on-road, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it looks like a combination of off-road and on-road. It's, it's mostly off-roading, but it's not as beastly as some other off-roading wheels I've seen. And also, it looks like, you know, uh, it was designed for people who plan on riding on-road. So this would be good for rain, for example. 
on road, slippery conditions. Um, real world picks. Yeah, I see it. Better than the commander. How many? Okay, okay. Who thinks? Let's compare this to the commander now, because these two are competing against each other. Let's be honest. These two are literally competing against each other. The commander and the um, the Abrams are literally competing against each other. Let's be honest with that. So I want to know, what do you guys think of which wheel is better? So I want to see based on responses. If you think um, the commander looks better, type in commander. If you think the um, the Abrams looks better, type in Abrams. Let me see if I can. Yeah. And to be fair, you know what I should do? I should probably, I should probably show the real world. Let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I really wish they did a better video. This video sucks to be honest. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this picture up because it's a real world picture or video, I should say. So, which one looks better? If you think the commander looks better, type in commander. If you, <laughs> let's let's count. Let's see. Um, Roger, this okay. Better than the commander. Yep, Abrams. I like Abrams. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, commander. But I want the range of the commander and, and speed of the commander. Exactly, exactly. Abrams, Abrams, commander. One, so far, one commander. Just by looks. Yes, just by looks. Just by looks. Just by looks. Only looks. Only looks. Nothing else because we haven't tested this. Nobody have tested this. And if anyone have tested this, there's no official results. So just looks. Pure looks. <laughs> Um, Abrams, the commander looks like a robot from Doctor Who, <laughs> commander. It's hard to pick though. Huh. So, so far, um, commander, Abrams, commander, Abrams. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like, I mean, it could be a tie. It could be a tie, but, um, Hold on. Abrams, 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 Abrams. Commander, 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 Commander. Wow, it kind of looks like a tie, guys. It looks like a tie. Although it started off with Abrams, 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 it seems like it's a tie. Abrams, 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 Abrams. Commander, 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 commander. Yeah, it's a tie. And and it, it makes sense because these two are competitors. These two are competitors. Um, I would go with the Abrams. I'll tell you why. I love the commander. But I would go with the Abrams only because, number one, the looks just fantastic. Okay, let's put this thing back up here. The looks is fantastic. It's no holds bar. It's like the commander in terms of no holds bar, no playing around. I they're both not playing around. But here's the thing. Look at this. So I don't know if you noticed, but this is a this looks appears to be a metal piece around the lights. And it looks embosed. So it looks extruded. Okay. So that in case this thing hits the surface, it doesn't affect the light. So the light is already protected. The lights are protected. That's awesome. There's four of them. Obviously, they took that from um, In Motion. So In Motion, hey, kudos to In Motion. I'm not sure why they have two and two. I'm sure there's a reason for that. And then you have the, um, you know, the typical uh, pioneering look of the Sherman, the bars, front and back. Then you have this amazing body. The body is just on point, man. 
wow, look at this thing. Like you can see the little accents, the little designs that they put on there, similar to the Sherman. Um, it's just beast. And, and you can tell they learned a lot from the comments that other people were, let's just, yeah. So, so for example, like right here, you don't see the rail coming out too far, um, which would allow for less clearance. So if you're going up a sidewalk, for example, the sidewalk would, you know, would destroy this. Uh, like, remember when um, uh, Marty was, was when he went on the um, overheat hill and then he got to the very top and then there was this tiny little lip of a sidewalk and he came and he damaged the, um, uh, he damaged the rail at the very bottom right here. Cause it was kind of like pointing out, you know what I mean? It was sticking out. Um, and the pedal, I mean, come on, no nonsense. This obviously they know that people are going to buy their own pedals with spike. So they just added spike. So this thing looks taller. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention about the, um, the commander is in the, in the rendering, there didn't seem to be spoked rims or spoke motor or whatever you call it. In the actual version that, that will be sold, it looks like there will be spoked. So it's not going to be a complete um, metal tire. It has spokes. It has holes in it, which is nice. Um, wow. Look at that back, man. Are you serious? Come on, guys. This thing looks great, man. It looks great. So one thing that's prominent and has been prominent about the veteran Sherman is the build quality. The build quality is like no nonsense, like zero nonsense. And then you have this big light, which again, it makes sense because um, you need light, dude. You need a backlight. Like every motorcycle has a backlight. Every bicycle, if you don't have one, they put one. You need that. You can't compromise on a backlight. And it looks like the commander totally compromised on the backlight. Now it appears that there will be no speakers. Um, I'll look at the information, but I don't see any speakers whatsoever on here. Again, this is from EUC Vibes, so check out EUC Vibes channel. Um, I don't know if the photos are from him, but it's he's just he just sent it to me. But look at this right here. This is protecting the, the mud guard. That's awesome. Are you serious? So is I think this is going to act uh, doubly. Um, it protects the mud guard, but I think what it really was uh, put there for it was it was pretty much put there uh, as a stand. So you can lean this thing back, and if it's not stable enough, you can just get some stuff on eBay, clamp it onto here, as many people have done already on their veteran Shermans, and just plop this thing back. But I really like the pedals. I like the build. No nonsense. Look at this power box. Wow, look at that. Look at that. This is intense, guys. This is some serious design. They See, the thing about veteran Sherman is, you know, they've, they've taken design very seriously. They've taken build quality very seriously. And you can tell with all these grooves and all these extra, you know, pieces that they put together. And like, it's just nothing. Not, it doesn't appear that nothing, like everything that was done was done with purpose. You know what I mean? It wasn't just put there to, to be put there. It was purposeful. Um, wow. Look at that. Obviously, this person just came from some riding. Beastly, man. You can tow something with this. <laughs> just tag something on the back of this and tow it. This is from the bottom look this is beautiful guys this is beautiful so no light doesn't look protect light no light does not look protected it sticks out further no no here's what i mean here is what i mean here is what i mean so if you look closely all right if you look closely you can see that the light is protected you see that you see do you see what i mean right here the lights are in here, and then you have this protective shield right here. It's kind of like when you have a phone. Like this is my phone, right? And the phone has a lip. The phone case has a lip around the screen. So when I drop my phone on a flat surface, a completely flat surface, that is, um, my screen is protected because the only thing that will touch are the borders of the, um, the case. So that's what I feel is going on right here. The border of the light is um, has metal around it to protect it. That's what I mean. Yes, it is sticking out. It is sticking out. But this is why I feel they added this metal piece around the light to protect it. Does that make sense? That more than likely just reflective. No, I hope not. Because if this is just reflective plastic, that is so impractical. And Sherman has just lost one point.
or veteran has just lost one point, but it looks like metal to me. Why would they add plastic? That would be so ridiculous. Unless it's like some type of plastic that's really, really strong, like some type of really strong plastic that I don't know about. No, that's really not cool. What's not cool? Anyway, um, let's go back to the specs. Let's go back to the specs of this wheel. Where is it? Right here. So, so we know that it's an off-roading wheel. It was designed for off-roading. Um, Marty details the specs. Okay, this is the specs. And this is the handle. Typical, typical uh, veteran. Typical. I like it. I like the look. I like the look. I don't really like the light. I don't really like how it's sticking out like that. But hey, I'm looking at it now from the perspective of practicality. You don't, it's nice to have a nice wheel, but a wheel that's practical is better. Wonder if you could fit a knobby. Yeah, probably. Probably. I wouldn't be, look at the side view. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. It's just a no-nonsense wheel, man. It's just, hey, you want a wheel? You want a great wheel? Boom. And look at those spikes. My concern about spikes is that I'm not, I wouldn't be able to like move my, my, my foot. Cause you know, when I ride, I like moving my foot left and right and all that. I just, I never tried spike wheels, uh, spike pedals, but I can't wait to try it. Anyway, that's that. Um, overall, I think it's a fan. I think this this is a great wheel. Overall, it's a great wheel. So if we go to if we go to e wheels, and I don't think they have it on their site. Oh, but they do. Okay, hundred dollar deposit. It's a twenty two knobby tubeless tire. Tubeless. So the last time I experienced a tubeless, ex the last time I had a tubeless experience, it wasn't that great. Um, it was the uh, Z10. And the Z10, every time I went over a bump, I felt that bump. <laughs> you know, it was pretty gnarly, as they say. I felt every bump. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a good idea. It's 88 pounds, just like the Commander, or 80-something pounds, just like the Commander. So it's a very heavy wheel. Um, at least 10 pounds more than the, the original Sherman. Very fast, but let's see what Ewell says. Ewell says it's uh, max speed is 50 miles per hour. Um, let me see what Yuko says. I know that they usually are a little bit um, conservative, Ewills that is, on top speeds, but the, huh. Okay, so they don't have it on here. Hmm, I guess maybe, oh, I don't see it. Okay, so yeah, I don't see it on there. So maybe Ewills has special rights to this <laughs> as they usually do. But um, let's see if it has a smart BMS. Okay, so three hours to full charge, 12 amp charging. 100 volts, charges 15 amps uh, max, or it supports max um, amperages, 15 amps. Um, customized connectors to fit stable. MOSFETs make it more. 12 piece, twelve MOSFETs, MOSFETs, OK. Instead of 12 MOSFETs, I would prefer that they have a redundant MOSFETs, not just 12 MOSFETs. It, would be, it should be redundant. You know, so in a redundant circuit, obviously, you know what that is. But if something goes bad, it switches over, you know, using relays or whatever you want to use, switch over to some non, some uh, perfectly working MOSFETs instead of just having 12. You know what I mean? Are these 12 all working together? Because if that's the case, um, you're just increasing the capacity or it's, it's um, capacity to handle more uh, current or performance, but if any of these 12 go, you're still going down. So redundancy would be better here. Integrated aluminum alloy automatically heat dissipation system. That's nice. Would like to see what that means. Um, module Modularization sealed battery pack. Okay. 
Um, I'm looking for Smart BMS because the only wheel so far I've seen with Smart BMS is the KS20. Stops. Okay. I don't see anything. Anyway, so, so far, so good, man. So far, so good. This wheel is great. The commander is great. But so far, the Abrams has the edge. Next wheel is, so commander, check. Sherman, no more Sherman. So Sherman's gone. <laughs> okay, so X for Sherman. Oops. Huge X for Sherman. Sorry, no more Sherman. Um, the hero. Hmm. Let's check out the hero. Now, right off the bat, what do you guys think of the hero? I think it's the most ugliest wheel I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what do you guys think of the hero? It's disgusting. Um, hold on. Okay, there we go. What do you guys think of the hero? Hero. So I have a video of the hero. And this is of, I think, Kuji Rolls. So this is Kuji Rolls. Can you guys hear the video, the audio? Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear? Type a one if you can hear, because I'm playing this and I'm not sure if you guys are hearing this. If one person says they're hearing it, then I'm gonna continue. Here it looks like a Gundam for me. I know, it's like pieces put together. Are you guys hearing this? Are you guys hearing this? Can you guys hear the audio? Did you guys hear the audio? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Okay, cool. All right, let's just keep going. Interesting. So what do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? 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 What do you guys think of the hero? What do you guys think of the hero? <laughs> oh, man. What do you guys think of the hero? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I know it's the pants. Uh, oh man, maybe if he had better pants, I would like the wheel more. But the pants, hmm. <laughs> okay, you're getting the hero, medium dog. You're getting the hero. It's okay. My opinion of the hero is that it's hideous, ugly, most ugliest wheel I've ever seen in my life. However, it's a very practical wheel. <laughs> let's take a look at it. Hold on for a second. Well, first of all, let's go through the video together and start criticizing this video. Let's critique the video. All right, let's go through it. So you have the nice backdrop, you have the ocean. Beautiful scenery, wow. Which means you can go places with this thing. That's that's what I'm getting from this. You can go places. Like you can with other wheels, but with this wheel, you can really go some places. Because it's emphasized, they keep showing it. Mountains, grass. Woo, did you see that? He jumped over a rock. That's typical Kuji. He likes to jump. So what do we see here? We see the same concept um, as the KS. I keep forgetting the wheel's name, man. Oh, it's not the KS20. It's um, KS18. Is it the KS18? Yeah. KS18. Oh, wow. I typed in ice cream. <laughs> what? What am I typing, man? King Song. KS18. Oh, you know why? Because my um, um, luck is off. Ah, oh, my back. Okay, so it's the same concept as this wheel right here. This, however, is a beautiful implementation. Beautiful, gorgeous. However, not so practical because that wheel has no type of um, support whatsoever regarding the shell. You drop that thing, you're breaking it. Okay. This one is a lot more practical. It's more beefy. And um, it looks like you can drop it a couple times and not worry about it. So it has a similar system here. Um, it looks like, I don't understand suspension system, so don't expect me to explain that stuff. I would have looked it up before, but I wasn't really, I didn't have much time. Um, but if you look right here, um, you have what looks like a mud guard. But there's going to be a close-up of it where that mud guard seems to be heavily protected. Whereas the King Song, it wasn't so protected. The um, 16x, 16s, 16x I have, that mud guard broke real quick. So this one looks beefy. It looks really, really well uh, put together. It's ugly, but it's very practical. Now, what do you see? Rarely do you see riders. He's going to mention air suspension. Okay, hero suspension. Hero suspension. So rarely do you see riders ride off-roading with their electric unicycles um, the way you see Kuji Rolls um, doing it here. Rarely do you see that. I Usually it's on the road. Usually it's on off-roading. But rarely do you see riders riding fast as he is on the grass. And why? Because grass could be have anything. You could have um, sticks in there. You could have rocks. You could have holes. This thing has suspension. And it seems like he's very... Probably knows this place, obviously, which allows him to be more uh, less careful. But the point is, he's speeding through this grassy area, and the reason he's able to do that is because of the suspension. So suspension is key here, okay, and the implementation of it. And he's really going fast, like he's. And up also, I can see that there's knobby tires. So this is an off-roading wheel, obviously. It's knobby, knobby, knobby. And grass is usually very slippery. And you can see he's literally bending. This looks like 10 degrees to me, maybe five to 10 degrees. And he's going fast. He's going fast and he's bending 10 to nine degrees. Nine, about 10 degrees. It looks like 10 degrees, five degrees, I don't know. But he's bending significantly um, at that speed, which to me, I probably wouldn't do. I don't mind going straight in grass, but bending like that, like while going that fast, it's kind of sketchy. But he's doing it with no issues, which means suspension is the suspension. But he's light. He's a light guy. So I don't know if that adds to it. But the point is, I've seen him fall many times, too. He didn't fall there. Maybe that's just 20 of take. I don't know. 50 of take. Who knows? 
see a slow motion here of him going up and down. I don't see much movement, so I'm not sure how this is calibrated, but he cal And what's this extra thing right here? What is this? Does anybody know what this is? What's this extra thing? I didn't see it on the KS-18. It looks like, like something to prevent it from bottoming out or something. Like, what is this? What, 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 what is this? <clears throat> Obviously, jumping off something is not, is not new. Um, but if you see, right, <laughs> it's so funny when he does that. So he's going, right? And then you see he, he pretty much preempts or expects some type of pain or some type of recoil and he prepares for it. Look, Ugh, like, oh gosh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> so I'm not sure if this suspension implementation is good because if you remember his video of the KS-18, um, let me see, this is his video of the KS-18 when he was going down some steps. This video was freaking awesome, completely different. Oh, why am I gonna, what? what am I doing, man? Is it late, is it that late already? Red Bull, baby. I'm good for another hour. All right, so let's see. Uh, Kuji rolls S18. Okay. I think this is the one where he went down the hill or the steps. Let me see. Hey guys. What's Kuji up, guy? Rolls here in Sanya, the Hawaiian. That's not the one I wanted. Let me see. Where's the one where he goes down the steps? Anyway, I don't know where it is. We'll just look at this one. Let's just see how he goes down the steps with this one. Simple. Whoa. Okay, look, look, look. No flinch. He's not even flinching. Okay, there was a flinch there. Okay, so maybe that's just his style. Maybe that's just his style of going down steps because he did do the same stoop. Okay. Okay, so another thing I don't like about this wheel is the headlight. It literally looked like they took the headlight and just put it on top. And I'm like, what the frick is this? Which is why I agree with the person that says it looks like a Gundam. You know what I mean? It's just pieces put together. But you can obviously see that Gotway said, you know what? We can't really do what we want and charge people more money for something that looks like we didn't even try. Because the EX was exactly that. The EX was a wheel that they said, you know what? They want suspension. We don't want to spend much research into this. Let's just slap some suspension on there. And maybe they'll like it. Everybody hated it. Most people hated it. I liked it because it's Gotway. I never tested it. But it was, come on, it was terrible. And um, shout out to the Black Cobra because he did mention that the placement of it, you know, if it bottoms out and it hits a rock, there goes your suspension. But this, nothing's exposed. And that's a great implementation. Where did they learn that from? KS-18. Shout out to King Song. Innovative. So there's no point in reinventing anything, especially I don't think these people have patents on anything. So it's not, um, whoa, light sensing headlights. That is sick. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? Light sensing headlights. Is it like King Song again? Again, another King Song innovation where King Song, you have this setting where you don't need to worry about whether it's dark. You know, if you're in a dark setting, it turns on. So my guess is that's what it's going to be doing as well. But the point is the placement of this headlight could be implemented a lot better. It's ugly, okay? How it's put there. You have one piece on top of another piece of the main body. Which tells me if you crash, this thing is gonna go flying. Unless it's like, because if you have, it's better to have one piece than to have two pieces, because now you have to worry about compromising that piece, those two pieces. So if you crash on that thing, expect that headlight to go somewhere. You know what I mean? Um, and then you can see right here, it's a similar implementation as the KS18. So the KS18 has this little guard in the front, okay? 
right here. So this is the guard in the front. See, so you look at the KS-18, yes, this little piece, plastic piece right here is terrible, okay? Because when you crash, but you know, when I played with it in real life, it was pretty solid. It looks pretty weak right here, but in, in real life, it was very solid. But either way, you have one piece set up here, and then you have this guard, and then Gotway just said, you know what, we'll just copy them. Just, why not just copy these people? But it's ugly. Oh, wow, what was that? Hold on, hold on, I missed something. What is this? So there's more stuff I'm seeing here, and I don't know what this is. So you have this piece right here, which looks like a tailgate um, or tow package, and then you have this right here. You have this metal piece, and then you have this. What are these things? I have no idea. Either way, this thing looks really robust. It's way more robust than the KS-18. Wouldn't you guys agree? Would you guys agree that this looks, I'm not talking about beauty now. This thing does not, it's not gonna win any beauty competition, it's hideous. But it's very practical, you know what I mean? Like the mud guard doesn't look, this does not look like it's going anywhere. There's a screw here. There's a screw here. There's a metal piece here. This thing looks reinforced from the inside, you know? So you have a frame for everything, whereas the KS-18, you had, you had the pieces, the plastic pieces with little grooves or support plastic, whatever, to support the external part. But once you slap that thing on, you crash it, it comes right off and you have to slap it back on again. Whereas this one looks totally, totally reinforced. And it looks like Kuji added some type of padding right here, as you know he would, because that's his thing. Mm. I don't ever expect Kuji to purchase Clark pads or any type of other pad. He just has his own type. Maybe he will. I don't know. I've never seen him. But this metal piece shows me that this thing is reinforced from the inside. So if you're looking for reliability, you're going to throw away your KS-18. You're going to throw it away and you're going to buy this. No, we haven't seen the KS-20 yet. Anyway, so far, this is, I left the KS-20 for last because it's freaking amazing. But this right here looks really good. The fact that it looks like it's reinforced from inside is a plus. And if you look, he's stressing the bottom. There's nothing under here to worry about. You know, whereas the EX, you had to worry about that suspension. Now, what, what I'm going to pay attention to is how he slows down. I like to watch people when they slow down with their wheel and when they take off. So when you slow down with your wheel, if it looks like you're struggling with it, that means you, you haven't had enough time riding that wheel to get to really know its dynamics. And if you're taking off with the wheel and you're still stumbling every now, then it means you still haven't gotten used to that wheel or that wheel is so heavy that you really need a lot more time to get used to it. So I'm gonna really pay attention to him. He's a really good rider, so we can learn a lot from him. Perfect, wow, that was a, for such a big wheel, it's perfect how we just got off there. So the weight doesn't seem to be an issue, but the wheel does look really, really tall. <clears throat> okay, so we see why he did that. We see why he did that. He sat there, not just, not just because he's tired, he's demonstrating something. He's demonstrating that you don't have to lean this thing against anything. It has a, the, um, uh, uh, what's it called? The fold. Okay, anyway, it has, um, you know, uh, I can't think of words. It has um, a guard in the back, like a, to hold it up, to prop it up, you know what I mean? So that's cool, very cool. <clears throat> Anti-spin handle, that's cool. And oh, wow, it has the same type of handle as the Abrams, as the Sherman, and as the Commander. So kickstand, thank you. I can't even think right now, it's late, man. Uh, kickstand, correct. So that's a that's why he pulled over. He just pulled over to demonstrate that it has a great kickstand. So that's what that is, the kickstand, the two metal pieces coming out. That's a very practical kickstand, awesome. Um, so yeah, it seems like Gotway finally got the word that, listen, we're not, these, these people are buying our wheels and if they want them to, if we want, <laughs> Everyone's like on Gotway's butt right now for exploding batteries. So Gotway is like answering every question, every every gripe you have. Gotway is like, we got you. Kickstand, okay. Suspension, okay. Handle, okay. Light, okay. Distance, range, okay, okay. <laughs> Everything. Gotway is like, I gave you whatever you want. Whatever you want, I give you. You know, but let's just hope they don't, 
their batteries don't explode anymore. But this is a clear response. The way they're building everything right now is a clear response that, listen, we better pay attention to our customers because these people are, they, you know, they're unforgiving. He had some struggle here. He was struggling with the um, with the handle, but that's okay. <clears throat> Now, clearly he's, um, you know, he's climbing, it's gonna say something. Super torque, right? It says super torque, okay. That's questionable, not for Gotway. Gotway we know has torque, but the thing is, he's a light guy, he's very light. But if you look at it from the perspective of the weight of the wheel, how heavy is that thing? Anyway, we'll look at it later. How, we, how heavy is that thing? I wanna see how heavy this is, hold on for a second. Ewheels.com. How heavy is this wheel? Um, did I? I probably didn't type this in right. Here we go. Ewheels.com shop. Um, the go day. So it is. Uh, I don't see the weight. Anyway, I don't see the weight. Let me check one more spot. You know what? I don't think they have it over there. Let's see you go. Rest in peace, Monster Pro. You know, I really wanted to purchase that monster, but it's it's too big. It's just too big. It's it's for big guys, big big guys. You know what I mean? Big 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 big. It's too huge. Um. I mean, in the rendering, it kind of kind of looks good. In the rendering, let's be honest, it does look kind of good. But I hate the placement. I hate how this light just looks like it's another piece. 78 pounds. Wow. Guys, it, oh, 1,800 watt-hour battery. So this is clearly an off-roading wheel. If you know anything about off-roading, and there's this cool LCD thing right here. Wow. I really like this. It looks like the speaker is like, so you're sitting here. It really looks like um, they listen to everything that people were complaining about. So if you understand what I mean is that, you know, people complain about not hearing the beeps and look where they put the speaker right beneath you. So you can't complain about not hearing the beeps. Um, people complain about not knowing your speed when you're riding. Oh, look at that. And you're back. This is, a, this is like an answer to all with the exception of looks. They're just like, we don't care what it looks like. Let's just make everything they want in this wheel. And it's an off-roading wheel and it's great. So if there's anything you, you should know about off-roading is, if I were to travel 20 miles, 20 miles off-roading and tw versus 20 miles with the same wheel and same rider on normal tarmac, normal road, I'm gonna get way more range off-roading than I am on-roading. So this is my understanding, this is, what I'm guessing as to why it's an 1800 watt hour battery is because if this is used for off-roading, if its primary purpose is off-roading, 1800 watt hours is, is plenty. Okay. So that's my guess. Back to the video. So he's a light guy, super torque. That's up. We'll see. Well, let's see what's uh what kind of motor does it have? It has a 2800 watt. Okay. So, <clears throat> Close to this, this, the EXN, right? The EXN was similar. Not much bouncing going on. Not, I know the LCD is sick. I agree, baby boy. The LCD is like no like no messing around. Even the Sherman's LCD was kind of funny because you still had to go, oh gosh, how fast am I going? <laughs> you know, this thing is like practically placed in front of you. Um, so you can see it's kind of like a, um, a motorbike, like a motorcycle. You sit on it and you can just stare at the screen and see how fast you're going. This is a very good implementation of that. And if, if this is indication of where Gotway is going, then this is a good implementation because then in the future they could learn from this and add that particular feature to all their wheels.
<laughs> but yeah, not a lot of bouncing going on. And I see rocks. I see all kinds of stuff. So if I were to buy an off-roading wheel just for off-roading, I don't know yet. I, I, I don't know yet because the KS20, that's the last wheel we're going to review. It would definitely be between the KS20 and this wheel, despite how ugly it is. <clears throat> so torque is not only good for up uphill climb, torque is also good for downhill. So if your motor is not able to hold you back while you're going down, you know, it's a crappy wheel. This wheel, it's, it's, um, it's color. Well, he's a light guy. I can't say anything, guys. He's a light guy. So the reason I mentioned this is because for people who are saying, I don't really need a torquey wheel. Well, torque is not necessarily only used for speed or for climbing. It's also for going downhill. Because if that motor cannot hold you up while you're going down, you're going down. So consider that as well. <clears throat> ah, man, look at that. That's, it looks like a, he's a light guy. So there's low pressure on here because it has suspension and the wheels are pretty thick and knobby and you can tell every time he hits like the edge of the step it's it's like it's like almost deflated that's nice i like that i wonder if that's the sound of the wheel though because i'm hearing this sound this whiny sound I'm not sure if they added that sound in there. You hear it? I like the kickstand. I'll tell you that. The kickstand is a great idea. Great idea. Anyway, this wheel, although how although it's ugly as freak, it's a very good wheel. Very practical. Just just in terms of practicality, it's freaking great. Okay? Do you guys agree? If you agree, enter a one. That this Bagode Hero wheel is extremely practical. Sounds like the motor. Yeah, it sounds like the motor. Um, is extremely practical regardless of how ugly it is. Do you agree? Type a one if you feel the Hero is extremely practical regardless of how ugly it is. Yes, exactly. That's what I thought, baby boy. Yep. So let's look at some of the specs of this amazing beast. Same battery as the RS. I know, that's what sucks. But again, just in terms of practicality, it's off-roading. That's my guess. It was designed for off-roading. 20-inch wheel diameter, 1,800 watt-hour, 100-volt battery, 2,800 watt. And I have a feeling this is going to be less, like it's going to have less range than the RS because it's, it's a heavy wheel. The RS does not have suspension. It doesn't have this extra electronics. I just think it's it's gonna have less um, less range. Um, Twenty eight hundred watt hour torque motor. It has a bigger. Mo Actually, the RS has a similar motor, doesn't it? I don't remember these things off the top of my head. <clears throat> the RS has eighteen hundred. And oh, 26. Okay, it has a 26 hollow motor. Okay, <clears throat> this thing has a top speed of 35 plus miles per hour. Okay, so the range could be better than the RS because it's it says 35 plus, which means it's probably 38 miles an hour. Wow, see, this is clearly an off roading wheel. Gotway is making it clear this is not for performance street riding because look at the speed, it's like 35 plus, guys. Come on. See, S18, yeah, yeah, S18 like suspension. Yep, 78 pounds, which is similar to the Sherman. So <clears throat> if you're, for, for, for whatever reason, um, you're thinking of getting this wheel, my guess is it's going to be, I don't know how I started that sentence, that sentence. That was terrible. What I'm trying to say is this wheel is for off-roading. It's to compete with the S18. And I don't think it's going to compete with the S20, which we're going to go into next. The S20... The KS20 is a beast. 
it's a beast. But I like this LCD. This LCD is very practical. Wow. You can probably play movies on here. Just external HDMI, hook that up. But yeah, this is this is awesome. And if you want, if you want, you can probably get rid of this. You can probably get rid of this screen and then attach another screen that is fully, um, you know, like capable of playing videos and all that stuff. Because look how big it is. It's pretty big. Yeah. What do you guys think? What twenty eight hundred US dollars? That's not bad, dude. That's not bad compared to. Okay, let's look at what the S the um. <clears throat> The KS18 was. Because that's really what it's competing against. It's the KS18, in my opinion. Not the KS20, because the KS20 is just on another level, dude. This wheel was... Where's the price? Um, it's... Oh, wow. Okay. So this one was close to $2,000. Yeah. So, yeah. Um... But this one does 31 miles per hour. And this, th remember, the main issue with this wheel was its power. It had no torque. So you, there was, um, there was a lot of over torquing and crashing because of this low, you know, rated uh, motor, 2200 watts. And then you have a left coin that no competition, no competition. Um, this right here is done for. This is done for. Not only that, this was a concept, in my opinion. Um, there's no reinforcement whatsoever inside. There was no kickstand. There's no LCD. There's no range. There's no speed. All this thing had was its suspension. And that was the whole point was its suspension. Cruising speed was 31 miles per hour. The weight is great for someone getting into this. I like brand new, like getting into off-roading then maybe, but the battery was d abysmal, like 11. That's terrible. 44 mile range, that's terrible. Now, if you really are serious and you live in the rural parts of America with like a lot of off-roading and you live in the country, this is it, man. This is it. This is it. In my opinion, in my opinion, I don't want to tell you what to do. Buy this if you live in the woods. <laughs> this is it. This is. I don't live anywhere near the woods. But if I did live in the woods, I would buy this. Absolutely. Now, one thing I notice about this seat is that it's toward the back. So let's look at the side view here. So you have, um, let me go, let me go to this thing right here. So <clears throat> if you look, right, you can see that the seat is basically, I would say, to the back, like, I don't know. It's it. I don't know if it's half. Yeah, it's kind of like the back half, almost, almost the back half of the um, of the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Like the seat, the seat looks like it's at the back half of the wheel. So what? what the reason I mentioned that is because when I when I was riding my 84 volt, um, the MSX, when I sat on it and I'm riding really fast, like really fast, and then I jam on the brakes by sitting, it rocked. The thing rocked back and forth, and I freaked out. I thought I was gonna cut out, but it rocked. And part of the reason is because of the motor. The motor wasn't that powerful, but also because of where I was sitting. I was sitting a little bit further back. So when I leaned back to stop and then kind of go forward to balance it off, there was a little dip and then a rock. Um, I wonder if that's gonna be an issue because for all intensive purposes, you want balance because the whole point of an electric unicycle is to keep balance. So you want balance wherever you can get it. And this, to me, looks like it might be an issue, maybe not, I don't know. What do you guys think? That's just writing dynamics, I have no idea. I mean, what you guys think about that observation I made. So the side view looks good. Um, overall, the, this is all the battery. This, I wonder where you're gonna put pads. Notice there's no pads. There's no pads. Kuji added his own pads, but there's no pads on this. Just so you know, no pads. Um, I don't know if it's official yet. Helps helps with forward leaning, but one has to assume some. This is Ryan. One has to assume 
kind of price drop coming. Probably, yeah, because these are still up in the air. So it's pretty expensive stuff. That's where the seat should be. Really? In the back? I guess. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, because the Sherman has it kind of backwards, right? Like toward the back. <clears throat> it's cool. Jason at Ewells told me he couldn't get them to drop the price, even though he tried several times. Well, there you go. There you have it. That's the price. So once again, uh, the Bigyoda Hero is 20 inch wheel diameter wheel, 1800 watt hour, 100 volt battery, 2800 um, uh, watt high torque motor, 35 plus miles per hour top speed, S18 like suspension system, 78 pounds. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this wheel, man? Another wheel from Bigode with no compromise. I would honestly say this is a non-compromising off-roading wheel. Non-compromising off-roading wheel from Bigode. What do you guys think? One, that's a great, it's weighty. It's weighty, but it's 78 pounds. It's 78 pounds and you're getting a crazy 2,800 watt motor. You're getting an 1,800 watt hour battery compared to the S18, which is 1,100 watt hours. You're getting nothing from the S18. Price is better than before. What was it before? Was it a lot? And the curve, and the curve is an indicator on how, what? Baby boy, and the curve is an indicator on how far not to sit. Oh, okay, okay, I get what you're saying, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I just hope like when you're sitting, like that center um, handlebar doesn't just pop up. You know what I mean? Cause look, it's the button's right there. So I don't know, that could be a, a design flaw. 4,000, the Black Cobra, what's up? The Black Cobra is in the house. Bam. Hey, the Black Cobra. People are saying they want to see a big guy test. <laughs> I forgot what wheel it was, the Commander, I think. Yeah, so hopefully you can get one to test. <clears throat> but because if you look, the Hero, um, uh, uh, Kuji just tested it. But we all know that Kuji is very light. He's a very light guy. So he's not a really good example of what to expect. Um, in terms of torque, in terms of speed, in terms of anything. Um, you really want a mid-range guy. How how heavy is Kuji? Does anybody know how heavy Kuji is? He looks like he's 135 pounds, maybe 145. I don't know. To me, super light. Exactly. He's super light. So, <clears throat> you know, he's super light. So overall, guys, before we get to the last wheel of the night, what do you guys think of this Bagode Hero? I think it's a great off-roading practical wheel. I don't think, in terms of range, like you can use it for city riding um, because the suspension obviously is great. But in terms of, like if you live in California, um, places where the roads are really, really long, definitely not X that out. Um, but if you live in Boston, if you live in New York, if you live in places like that, sure, why not? Because these roads are terrible. Like Boston roads are bad, New York roads are bad. I'm sure places in Canada are bad, but um, I think it, I forgot who it was that lives in Canada. What do you think? I mean, I know you don't. You said you don't need a wheel with a lot of like performance, but this is everything you need. You have a great seat. You have an LCD screen. You have suspension in case of potholes. 1800 watt hour, which is not that bad for a small city. I mean, if you don't want to do off roading, this is fantastic um, for such a small city. Ride with my lady old lady. Yeah. Take one for fun. That means you have money. <laughs> anyway, I like it. Now for the final wheel of the night is the King Song S20. <laughs> Yo, this wheel is nuts. The S20 is crazy. All right. So let's see. Let me, um, Let's let's look at their video that they put out. Oh, let me go back. Let me do the same thing I did. So now we're going to the this one right here. We're going to view this one. Ooh, what a beast. It looks crazy. And it comes with a seat. You know, just by looking at it, this looks like, you know, the guy said earlier, it looks like a, um, a certain wheel looks like a certain wheel. But let me see. Gundam wing, Gundam wing, Gundam wing, 
robots. Gundam Wing, yeah. <laughs> you know, this is the KS8, KS20. <clears throat> this is the KS20 right here. Do you guys agree? Is this a stretch? Someone earlier told me when I made the comparison um, of the commander and cell, it's a stretch. You guys think this is a stretch? This is the commander. I mean, the KS20. What do you guys think? <laughs> it has that, it has the wow factor. Exactly. This, this is, because look, look at it. Okay, let's put it right next to it. I like to do that. I like to do comparisons because I feel like these people get like inspiration from certain things. I'm not in their design room, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, wasn't it just here where I put it? Oh, there it is. You know what I mean? I mean, look at it. Look at it. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if this robot had to ride an electric unicycle, it would ride the KS20. Don't you guys agree? The KS20 is going to be an incredible wheel, the Black Cobra says. Correct. I mean, for all intensive purposes, just by the video that they made, which we're going to watch, I mean... Pfft. Look at this. This wheel, this is exactly the wheel this Gundam wing would ride. Of course, we know Gundam wings don't ride wheels. They fly. But <clears throat> this is the wheel it would have. Come on. Look at all these accents. Anyway, let's get to the video. Where's that video? Where's the video? Wait. Okay. So we have to enter it in the thing here. All right. Let's watch this eagle fly. A phone oh. by Google. It's easy to switch the vibe from the comfort of your home. All right. Let's watch this eagle fly, guys. Let's watch this eagle fly. All right, guys. Pay attention. It's time for the final wheel of the night. This is the final wheel of the night, the KS20. This is the wheel of all wheels. I say this because King Song is not known for performance per se. They, do, they did have performance wheels. But they were always catching up to Gotway. They were always catching up to other wheels. This is this is a crazy looking wheel, man. Holy smokes. And the specs on top of that? Holy moly. And we know that King Song has um, performance in mind. They have safety in mind. For example, we know that King Song and In Motion both have tilt backs, but it's always been relegated to 31, 30 miles per hour, you know, top speed. With the InMotion V12, what did we see? We saw that a wheel that didn't really do 40 miles an hour, but it still had that tilt back feature, which Gotway just does not seem to implement. I hope it implements it in one of those wheels, the Commander, the Hero, hopefully. But we know that King Song is not going to compromise on safety. We know that. That's ingrained in King Song's philosophy, right? So a wheel that has this type of specs with this type of look, holy smokes, we can blow. You know what I'm saying? So let's watch this awesome video from the last wheel of the night. Let me know what you guys think. Boom. Oh, boom. <laughs> wow. Now, if you weren't interested in the graphics, the music definitely got you. Let's play it one more time because I like to reminisce.
Very nice, very nice. Wow, very nice. Short yeah. video, but very nice. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Holy smokes. I've never seen so many moving parts on a wheel. That's intense. Wow, wow, wow. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I've never seen so many moving parts on a wheel. Holy moly. Okay. Um, S20 likely, did I, the comment is still on the screen. What comment? Oh, you know what? I don't even pay attention. How do I, hold on. Oh, high current comment. Okay. I think I hid that by mistake. Oh, you know what? I haven't been doing that. I haven't been highlight, highlighting people's comments. Thanks for that, Black Cobra. I haven't been doing that. Anyway, it'll take me time to figure that stuff out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Okay, by the time you take Okay. Okay, so this person says, baby boy, the features are awesome. Yes, yes, they are. Um, basement Productions, the suspension looks way upgraded, like insane, insane, insane. Like what in the world, man, insane. Let me just put it up there while I talk about it, hold on. Actually, you know what? I want to put this up there while I talk about it because this has all the specs. <clears throat> While I read your comments, um, gotta go, bro. Later, man. Later, Black Cobra. Can't wait to see it in real life. For real, for real. Like in real life is wow. Like, you know, conceptually, it looks amazing. It's like, you know, like I said, crazy, like the Lamborghini just released this crazy Countach. And we all know what a Countach looks like. But the, the cool thing about the Countach at the time was how, you know, it. they said it was a caricature of itself. It has all these parts that are not practical at all. But it gave you that, that visual that, you know, everyone with crazy money, um, or at least a vision of what a supercar should be, you know, Anyway, it, it demonstrated all these things. And then to see it in real life, you're just like, holy smokes. You know, so this is this is this type of wheel that you look at it and you're like, this is a concept. This is not real. There's no way they're releasing this. And then they release it and you're like, holy moly. So um, let me see some of the other comments. Um, basement, I think I want one. Um, Otho Kara, the suspension sims al system alone makes to makes to machine. Um, I was impressed. Okay, Kevin, I was more impressed with Bagoda's presentation over delivering versus stringing us along. Good point. Good point. Well, I mean, do, I don't think they're stringing us along, are they? Do you think they're stringing us along? I hope it has everything it states here. Because the moving lights and all that, like I said, this wheel looks great, but my only issue with this wheel is if it crashes and everything just goes everywhere. <laughs> and you got to put it back together like a puzzle. That's the only concern I have. Is that going to happen? Um, I want to buy one soon. The S20 will have good torque. Yes, yes. The motor is, a, what's the, where's the motor? Uh, it, oh. 3300 watt out watts compared to the um what was it 2200 watt with the s18 holy smokes man look at that max speed 70 kilometers per hour quickly quickly what's 70 kilometers per hour everybody anybody knows what uh, quickly quickly let me see um i'm gonna do speed i should know this stuff but i don't um, 70 kilometers per hour. 
It's 43. Four, okay, thank you, baby boy. 40, 40, 43 miles per hour. You know? Now, what's cool about that is, is the tilt back. I can ride, so on my, um, on my MSP Torque, I can ride at, at that speed, but here's the thing. I am not going to get a tilt back. I need to use EUC World app in order to help me, you know, understand how fast I'm going and govern that speed that way. But this one, because I know Kingsong has had that technology from beginning, you know, it, like I said, Gotway has had it too, but the problem with Gotway is they allow you to turn it off. And the worst part is they don't have it above 30 miles an hour. So you can ride at 40 miles an hour and I can't tilt back. Now I have been out of the way for a while. I'm not sure if it's been implemented recently, but I'm not able to get tilt back at 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour in a Gotway. So if you can get tilt back, I hope this is not like um, in motion where they say 40 miles an hour and it ends up being 35. <laughs> That's going to be a bummer. But, <clears throat> but 126 volts, 10 amp. Wow. I mean, pretty intense. Um, Let's see. UC Vibe said he's pre. Okay, that's you pre-ordered the Abrams. Wow. Well, wow. It's awesome. The Abrams is good, man. The Abrams is good. Forty-three miles per hour is good though for King Sung. Jack from King Sung said they. I mean, this is from Basement Productions. Jack from King Sung said they made it bare bones on purpose so it won't break apart like the S eighteen. But. but Wait, what? I mean, I could understand what you're saying, but the S18 was bare bones. You know what I mean? Like, for example, <clears throat> if you look at this part right here, what's supporting this? It, unless it's like, unless this piece right here, this metal piece acts like a groove so that it can go up and down in the groove. Like, it's just not on its own going up and down. Like, I don't understand what they mean because bare bones with no support internally is going to literally assure and sure that it's going to fly apart. <laughs> you know, like we just saw with the hero, the hero is completely secure on the inside. You know what I mean? It has supports on the inside. So I know for a fact, despite how ugly that thing is, um, it's going to hold, it's going to hold in a bad crash, but this, I don't see any type of support whatsoever. Now, this part right here is metal. I believe it looks like metal, at least in the rendering. See, like right here, metal, metal, metal. The spike pedals are nice. This part right here could be metal. I don't know. How much does this thing weigh? What's the weight? Everything is in kilos. Um, where's the weight? Where's the weight? Where's the weight? Where is the weight? Where is... Oh, you know what's cool? It has a smart BMS. So that's cool. Um, I don't know the weight, but uh, let's see. Jack also, okay, this is from Basement again. Uh, Jack also said it will probably do 50 miles per hour. You know, if we go to E-Wheels, I think I also saw that. I think I, let me go to E-Wheels real quick. You can go to shop. And if we click on that, see? So E-Wheels says, it's 44.5 miles per hour top speed. And if we go to Yuko, <clears throat> if we go to Yuko catalog, do they even have it? I don't see why they wouldn't. OK. 43. OK, so they're going based off the specs that King Song gave. But we know that um, E-Wheels is usually very accurate, very accurate uh, with their stuff. So now lo let's look at some, some close-ups here. <clears throat> now, BMS. So I've, I was looking up like what BMS is. I mean, not BMS, smart BMS. I know what BMS is. But I want to see, I was looking up what smart BMS is. And all it is is an intelligent way to manage your battery, <clears throat> OK? Let me see if I have it here. Smart BMS. Oh, wow. Smart BMW. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Let me. OK, there we go. So what is a smart BMS? The smart BMS is a battery management system. OK, this is not the one I'm looking for. 
I'm looking for, this one is specific to a particular battery. What is smart BMS? Okay, smart BMS, okay, SBS, is a specification for managing a smart battery. So the battery apparently has to be smart in itself. So it can't just be a battery. It has to be a smart battery as well. Usually for a portable computer, it allows operating system to perform power management operations via a smart battery charger based on remaining estimated run times by determining accurate state of charge readings. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, with a smart BMS, you won't have to worry about if a, uh, a certain pack goes bad or a certain cell goes bad. For I think, I think the Sherman had a smart BMS, right? Because I think someone received an error once on a Sherman when they couldn't charge their battery because one of the packs was bad. How would it know that? Unless it has smart BMS or unless that pack was just terrible. But um, so we have a 220 watt hour battery, smart BMS, which is good because, you know, it'll, it'll come in handy like for charging mostly, but it'll also come in handy when you're riding in cold temperature. And when you're writing, and then they always say when you're writing, don't go charge your battery right away. For example, if you're going on, on group rides, um, I was always told in the group rides, hey, don't just charge your battery right away. But that just flies out your head when you really need charging. You just go for the quickest way to charge. And you're like, I need to charge that thing in. Boom. But smart BMS will help you manage your battery a lot better so you don't kill it over time. 20-inch um, inflatable tire. Uh, kickstand, that's sick. Like so far, what wheels have kickstands? So far, we have um, so far we have. So Sherman didn't have a kickstand, but you could make a kickstand out of the Sherman. So far, the Hero has a kickstand, and the KS twenty has a kickstand. Props, props. Um. Fully integrated. That's awesome. They're both fully integrated. Spike pedals. And this one has spike pedals as well, the Hero. The Commander, I don't understand why the pedal is so flat. That's so strange. Um, bright LEDs, tiltable headlights, which is pretty cool. It looks like you'll have to manually do that. Customizable power pads. I, don't, I would love to see how that works. A customizable power pad, wow. And um, yeah, over, oh, there it is. This is still a rendering, but it looks pretty good. More renderings, guys. More renderings. I don't understand that statement. That statement, you said, who said that? Um, I think it was Basement, where he said, um, they said that they made it bare bones so that it doesn't fall apart. That makes absolutely no sense to me. But I'm not a structural engineer, so. But if you look right here, it looks like there may be some support on the on the other side. Like you see, if you look closely, you can see that there's some internal support right here. It looks like some there's something going on in here where it looks structurally sound. So maybe I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see because. Um, Similar wheels have done worse, like the um, InMotion V12, V11, I'm sorry, the InMotion V11. When that thing crashed, remember when Sean uh, tested it, pfft, splatted all over the place. So um, let's go to eWheels again. So again, we have a tentative price of 3200 which is not bad. Expected uh, first arrival in late December, 3,300 watt motor, 44 miles per hour top speed, which is more than enough for such a crazy wheel. 2200 watt um, hour battery, 126 uh, battery pack with smart BMS. 20 inch tire available in either street or knobby. I think most people will be going with knobby. It's for off roading. Estimated weight 66 pounds. Wow. 66 pounds. That's a plus. 66 pounds, guys. All of that for 66 pounds. Maybe that's why they made it bare bones, to make it light, 66 pounds. 66 pounds, dude. that's amazing. Compared to all these other wheels, this is the lightest wheel so far of the bunch. 
Other headlights, spike pedals, I'm sorry. Other highlights, spike pedals, integrated adjustable power pads, up to 10 amp rapid charging, six amp included, built-in kickstand, plus, all pluses, all pluses, man, all pluses. Um, like I said, the, the only thing I can see, the only problem I can see with this and the hero is riding dynamics. So for example, the height, it's pretty tall. So I, the only issue I could see is that um, being so tall, riding very fast um, might be an issue in terms of wobbles because uh, most wheels that we rode that most wheels. Okay. So for example, the KS 16, the 16 X, some people were like, Oh, it's a very balanced wheel, but actually not really. When you rode that wheel very fast, you, you could, ex I've experienced wobbles because it's tall. You see what I'm saying? Um, this thing is tall, but it seems balanced. Where is the board? The board seems to be at the top. Hmm. Anyway, that's just me nitpicking, but not really because wobbles is a thing, man. Wobbles is a thing. I'm, I was trying to make a video. I, am I making a video on wobbles? I'm making a video on how to manage, how to ride a, a, a wheel at 40 miles per hour safely. Okay. So that's my, that's a video I'm working on. Um, I wrote the script. I haven't taken any sh video shoots yet, but but riding any wheel at 40 miles per hour plus is a thing, okay? And um, if this wheel is going to be as amazing as it looks, as tall as it looks, and one thing I forgot to do before I came on this live was measure um, each wheel in comparison to each other. I just didn't have time, but maybe next time I'll do it. But the tallness matters. The tallness matters. If you If you watch the Sherman, learn from the Sherman. So one thing we all learn from the Sherman is that it's extremely balanced, okay? It's short, it's not too long, and it's not too wide. And balance, a balanced wheel, um, wobbles are the scary, exactly, wobbles, that's from EUC Vibes. Wobbles are the scariest thing ever. Like it's, you don't wanna experience it. When you experience it at a low speed, it's cool. You expect it, you know, you know what to expect if you if you ever um, experience it at a higher rate of speed, but it's just not something you want to think about. And I've never experienced it on the Sherman. I have experienced it as you've seen on, on the high speed MSB. That was mainly because um, I had a higher tire pressure than I was used to. Um, but other than that, I've never really experienced wobbles. Wobbles. I have experienced it on taller wheels. So, for example, on the KS18, on the not the 18. What am I saying? On the uh, I forgot. This is another wheel a long time ago that they made. I forgot what it was. King Song. But it's um, I've experienced it on the 16X. I've experienced it on my uh, on my high speed MSP. But that's because of the tire pressure. Otherwise, I've never experienced it. And I've never experienced it, not once on the Sherman, no matter how hard I rode that wheel, because it was so amazingly balanced. So, and when I say balanced, I don't just mean like in the natural sense of the design. I meant in the placement of, of where things are. So the battery, the board, the, the height of the wheel, the tire that they chose, the tire of the Sherman, not the road version, the, the knobby version is very flat. So that adds more, um, uh, um, it's, it's, it's more planted, more surface area. Okay. So there's more contact to the surface with the Sherman, uh, knobby tire. Whereas these wheels, they're all round, they're all round and they're tall. So that's the only thing I can think of, <laughs> um, why this might have some issues with its riding dynamics. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. It's just the rendering. We will see. But the, again, another reason it looks tall is because the suspension. So by the time you get on it, it's going to be seated nicely. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this wheel? Out of all the wheels we've reviewed tonight on paper, because no, I haven't touched this. No one I know have touched it. Out of all the wheels we've seen tonight, which wheel? They're all good though. But which wheel, which company has implemented the best wheel in, in, in terms of looks, in terms of price, in terms of features, 
in terms of uh, the gripes that we've been complaining about, which company has the best all around wheel? Which wheel is the best all around wheel out of all the wheels we've, um, we've reviewed tonight, minus the Sherman. <laughs> Cause I know some of you are still gonna mention the Sherman. Bagode, okay, which Bagode? Men mention which wheel, I wanna see which wheel, not the company, the actual wheel. Which wheel is the best wheel out of all the wheels we've reviewed tonight? Which wheel? Answers, answers, answers. I say, for me, I'm gonna say the Abrams. I like the Commander, but I'm gonna say the Abrams. Man, that Abrams looks good. Oh, it's practical too. Okay, S20, Commander, S20 overall. After seeing the weight, okay, so let me read this from Quan. After seeing the weight, it has to be the S20. I hate the flashy design though, I agree, I agree too. It just doesn't look solid to me. Would get it if it came all in black, 100% agree. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so um, which wheel, guys? Which wheel? Which wheel? Which wheel is the best that we've reviewed tonight? Um, S20 Eagle by a mile. Okay. Bagode S20 Commander S20 overall. I would love to have an Abrams and an S20. Nice, nice. I know. I agree. They both They both serve completely different purposes. And they're both, actually, no, that's not true. The Abrams is actually meant for off-roading, but you could use it on road. The S20 is, it just looks like it's an all around great wheel, off-roading, on-roading, <clears throat> whatever. Suspension, man, you need that off-roading for real, for real. Um, S20, then Hero, okay. I'm still leaning to go to Hero. <clears throat> okay, so for those of you choosing the Hero, why? Why do you like the Hero so much? Oh, I forgot to mention. Wow, how did I forget that? I'm sorry. Sorry, King Zong. I forgot that. So apparently, I saw this in the video. King Zong has a screen. There's a screen on the wheel. It's a tiny one, but it's there. It's a tiny one, but it's there. Here it is. There's a screen. So you can tell how fast you're going. That is worth mentioning. So they did not forget that. I don't think King Song has a screen on any other wheel. This is awesome. It's a no holds bar, simple wheel. Speed, speedometer. It's a speedometer. That's it. That's awesome. <clears throat> Price, spec, and LCD. S20. Abrams. Wow. We really need to see how these wheels hold up over the next few months. That will be interesting. I know right now we're just all speculating, but I agreed. Agreed. I'd like to see. I mean, you know, theoretical is great, but practical is the best. So far, the Abrams and the Hero are great. So, far, well, so far, the Hero looks great. That's the only wheel I've seen so far that has been tested or not tested, but ridden. Um, yeah, so yeah, so so far, I think you guys like all these wheels, to be honest. You guys like all of them. It seems like you, but I mean, there are a lot of, let me see. A lot of people like the Abrams and the S20, but the fact that everyone, that you all, that one, at least one of these was mentioned, um, then that means these companies are doing a great job, right? Right, guys? We like all of them except for the big Odin ones. <laughs> how can you not like the commander, dude? And how can you not like the hero for, not in terms of looks, in terms of its practicality? Because right now, right now, between the hero and the KS20, the hero looks insanely more practical, practically sound than the KS20. The KS20, dude, if that thing crashes, it looks like everything's just going to go everywhere. Whereas this hero, as ugly as it is, seems more practical. But I don't know. I don't know. KS20, hero, then Abrams for me. I In that order. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, Davu. Yeah, man. <clears throat> but besides all that, we're going to call it a night. It's almost three hours now. Besides all that, do you guys agree 
that these companies, the Gode, um, Veteran, or Lieberkim, and Kingsong have pretty much answered the call, minus the price in certain cases. They've done a good job for the most part. They've done a good job for the most part, right? For the most part. Do you guys agree? <clears throat> Agreed. Yeah, they've met of our they've met our expectations. In fact, if you don't like one, there's another one you like. If you don't like one, there's a. It's like if you don't like Bigode, who cares? Go to uh, Abrams or Lieberkim. If you don't like Lieberkim, go to for the for for the first time, for the first time, King Song has stepped into uh, the high performance field, okay, area or whatever. Um, they've given us a very good option although it's vaporware, because I haven't actually seen it. Um, none of us have seen it that I know of. It, it's a rendering, but it's it's a step in a good direction. And eWills has it on their site, so we expect to see some tests coming up, I'm sure. In motion getting left out, once again, once again, in motion getting left out, once again. But we'll see, we'll see, because that last that last wheel they released was not so great, in my opinion. I didn't write it though. I wasn't eager to do it. I wasn't eager to write. It seemed like the one innovation that InMotion had and 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 stuck on was that screen. It's like, are you serious, dude? Like you literally spend 80% of your time on a screen. Whereas the whole it doesn't matter. V12 is awesome. I love it. No, I'm not V12 is a great wheel. But in comparison to this, no. Servicing the tire is key. Yeah, I wonder how these, that's a very good question. I wonder how we're gonna um, service these tires. <laughs> I wonder. It doesn't seem to be difficult, especially for the Abrams. The Abrams seems to be very similar to um, uh, Sherman with the exception of that extra bar that you have to worry about. So with the Sherman, you have to worry about taking out the uh, the entire rail, the entire guard, whereas this one, it, you might not have to take it out. I don't know. Or <clears throat> it might not be as difficult to take it out because I remember, um, you know, Marty using a hammer to hammer that thing out. But we'll see. In motion wants to rule the 16 inch wheels. <laughs> Let him. Let him. Guys, thank you very much. I just want to. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a while since I've been in, you know, this space, um, but I'm slowly getting back into it. Yaz will. Um, <clears throat> can't see the pics too well. Which pics? You can't see these pics too well? Um, Tia is saying she can't see the pics. I'm not sure which pics, Tia. Can you not see this? <clears throat> I hope you can see it. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully I can have more. Hopefully I can have more. And what I would like, because I've seen a lot of other YouTubers and other genres doing this, I see them uh, having lives where you can call in and you can talk and people can give their opinions. Um, and I like that because what happens is I may have one train of thought, but there might be people out there who have, you know, a way better train of thought than I. It's like, you know, I'm in the, I mean, I'm missing the forest, but I'm paying attention to the tree and I don't see everything. So it'd be nice to hear someone else talk. You know what I mean? So guys, it was a pleasure talking to you guys. Oh, I have one more thing. One more thing. I have one more thing for you guys. One more thing. Check it out. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can take this out. All right. So I have one more thing for you guys. Um, where is, all right, cool. Okay, so I ordered this, I, I, in my community chat, I showed you guys that I was ordering two things, a jacket and a helmet. Guys, this jacket is bombs. Okay. So I'll, I'll put the link, but this jacket is amazing. Oh my gosh, it feels like I'm riding a motorcycle. Wow. This jacket is amazing. Like, do you see this? It's padded. There's padding in here. There's padding 
and it's my size. It's tight. Oh man, dude, there's like zippers everywhere. There's like, oh man, it feels it feels solid. Like a lot of you have to wear like these, you know, uh, spine guards and all that stuff, dude. This is it has like everything you need. It has like the reflective stuff, which I hate. I hate when it's not designed properly. This is beautiful design. And then I have this helmet, which I have to review. Okay. I already showed you guys it, you know, Ugh, it's awesome. Got this hair out the way, but it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. This is great. This is great. This is great. I can't wait to ride again. Um, compared to my, compared to my old Steelbird, which is great, but the quality on this is very weak. Okay, very weak compared to this new one, and it's the same price range. So, <clears throat> guys, ride safely. Everybody, ride safely. You have clearly been riding safely. So, um, yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see what what comes of these wheels, but. Guys, I just want to thank you. I have some other stuff to tell you guys that I'm working on. It's coming along slow, but it is what it is. Peace. Have an awesome night. Sleep well. Praise Yah, creator of heaven and earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the seas, and all that in them is. Guys, have an awesome night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace. Thank you, guys.